Ezekiel, prophesy unto the dry bones that they may receive life. What is a dry bone? A dry bone is a person who is living but dead. Who is dry bone? Dry bone is somebody who is supposed to be a millionaire but cannot afford 1,000. Who is dry bone? Dry bone is somebody whose bl- the blessings just pass over the person. The miracles fly past their head. Who is a dry bone? A dry bone is somebody who is a lightweight in the spirit realm. The enemy just does what he wants with your life anyhow. Who is a dry bone? Dry bone is someone who has been relegated to the dustbin of life. This is why it is only this prayer that is left now. And you should pray it with reckless abandon with merciless violence. Pray it because of the massive presence of the angels of God here now. Who are ready to do anything. I say anything. For the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. Can you shout this loud and clear? Dry of my life. Come alive. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray open your eyes and look at me <laughs> the way you are praying that prayer that's why I stopped you I stopped you because the angels were passing many by some are even sleeping I feel sorry for you close your eyes dry of my life come along in the name of Jesus Aha! You see things are happening now. Things are happening now. Continue, continue. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move, 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 move. Dry bones of my life. Come alive. 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 Jesus, then we pray. Stranger! Your voice is not loud enough. In my body! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Enough is enough. Lose your hood. 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 Lose your hold. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this very, very important prayer. If you pray it and you lose your voice, as far as you get your breakthrough, it's okay. Powers! Calling my name in darkness. You are a liar! Duh! In the name of Jesus!
Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to make this declaration seven hot times. Seven hot times. Say, oppression shall be far from me. Are you ready now? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. In the name of Jesus. Now, begin to speak the words of deliverance and fire into your family life. That the fire of God, you go there and deliver the family. Amen. All eyes closed. As we pray this next prayer, listen to me carefully. If you had ever had cause to go and throw your clothes into the river during your period of ignorance, pray this next prayer on your knees. Shout this loud and clear. This is a command and a declaration. Cage of the waters. I am not your candidate. Break. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree to. Break the cage of the waters. Jesus' name we pray. Now we go to one of the most serious prayers we have to pray here. Please, there is no room to negotiate. I want you to be more aggressive in these prayers. Say, powers from my place of birth troubling my Israel. Can I hear you shouting the same thing? Is that how you are going to say it? Say it louder than that. Can you say it louder than that? Die! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. That's right. Yes. Yes. Something is happening here. That's right. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Enough is enough. Powers from 
my place of my trouble, my Israel. Your time is up. Amen. Raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this as loudly as you want it to happen in your life. These are dangerous periods to keep quiet. This year, this year. every gang up against my destiny shall scatter in the name of Jesus. This year, my God shall arise this year. My God shall arise and make me a mysterious wonder this year. Any evil voice speaking against my life shall be silenced. In the name of Jesus, this year, what others call a problem shall become promotion for me. In the name of Jesus, now with a voice as loud as fire, say, This year, any that is against my existence shall die in the name of Jesus a seven fold amen raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this as loudly as you want it to happen in your life. These are dangerous periods to keep quiet. This year, this year. every gang up against my destiny shall scatter in the name of Jesus. This year, my God shall arise this year my God shall arise and make me a mysterious wonder this year any evil voice speaking against my life shall be silenced in the name of Jesus this year what others call a problem shall become promotion for me in the name of Jesus now with a voice as loud as fire say this year any power that is against my existence shall die in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold man. Ladders of darkness.
darkness. I am not your candidate. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Ladders of darkness in my life break in the name of Jesus. Amen. Poison of darkness in my body. Let your voice roar like thunder. That voice is not loud enough. Come out now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this with boiling anger. Strong man of my father's heart, Damn! in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Stop and pursue of my father's heart. Death. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. That's why Jesus brought you here. We are here for serious business. Power of God. Move. 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 Jesus name we pray this next prayer as you shout your seven loud amen you also clap thunderously seven times that noise you are making with your hand shall strike a terrible noise to the camp of the enemy and they shall flee unto desolation father I pray every rottenness that has gathered into any life rottenness that has gathered into any life. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree one more time. And every rottenness gathered into anyone's life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. I told you. Yes. I want you to clap that out louder. In this next prayer, the Lord will also use it to send a noise that will scatter your enemies onto desolation. Every handwriting of man upon any life here, which is contrary to the handwriting of God, clear away in the name of Jesus. Aha. 
One more prayer. Why you say clap sevenfold? Father, I pray that every scale of darkness in any eye preventing you from focusing and locating your destiny. Let that scale scatter in the name of Jesus. Now you will not pray this prayer. Every evil company permit me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. Jesus name we pray say every foundational covenant speaking bondage into my life can you say that loud and clear is that the loudest you can say it scatter in the name of Jesus Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Covenants of my father's house. A sign to bury my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm praying for anyone here. Under the covenant, conscious or unconscious, of untimely death. That it should be released now in the name of Jesus. A seven fold man. Can you say this loud and clear? Every poison over my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break the power of the poison. Every poison over my life. Masikateria Nikaya Busha. In Jesus' name we pray. Anyone that has stolen glory from me, return them by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Makateri Kayaboshaga. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Red Sea, lose your power. In the name of Jesus, command your Red Sea to lose his power. Lose your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Blemish in my life. Die. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the blemish. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Power of wilderness. 
I'll sign against my destiny. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. The power of wilderness. Scatter, 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 scatter. Jesus, name we pray. Stretch your two hands towards this altar. Father, this hands that are stretched forward here, by your grace and by your mercy, and by your power and glory, place a divine gift upon every hand stretched forward here. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, that your destiny shall shoot you out. Your destiny shall shoot you out. Your destiny shall catapult you. In the name of Jesus. Every ancient gate in your life, I command them to be lifted away in the name of Jesus. Receive the grace and power. With a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Can you shout this loud and clear? Embargo of my father's heart. Let me go. In the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to say that loud. That power of God. Move. 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 Da katende rabo soponde ke yabo shente raba. Aha, aha. Somebody of that sister over there. Ma katende yabo shente raba santa. Ma katende ribo sepeli katende ka. Aha. Check it out, check it out. Papia, lift her here, Santa. Now is the power of God coming upon you. Ma sita li kaya bo shente la bo sete la kaya ba. Ma kaya bo shente la bo sete la ba. Yes, enough, it's enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? My stolen blessing! Where are you? Look at me now! In the name of Jesus! Somebody is possessing it. Somebody is possessing it. Aha! Ma pote satanika da ribolo kotende ke yabo shenteraba. Jesus, them we pray. That's good. That is good. The testimony shall be great. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your fire and your power enter into these hands now. 
Let your fire and your anointing I tie into these hands now. Lay that hand on your head and keep it there. And keep quiet, please. Place it on that head. Keep quiet, please. Please. Father, anyone here? And the air was removed to the coven. Right there where you are. Receive your deliverance. Don't say anything. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Every power manipulating your glory, especially those powers that are telling you you will never marry, that are telling you you will never have children, that are telling you you will never prosper. Fire is coming upon your head to burn away the plantation of the enemy. That's the fire! That's the fire! You can't hide. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Stretch your two hands forward and don't say anything, just stretch forward. Father, I stand there as your servant. All the blessings stolen from anyone here right from your mother's womb. My power that said, Tell you her, I said, right from your mother's womb. Recover them, recover them. Let it be placed back into your hands, into your hands, into your hands, into your hands. Into your hands, 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 into your hands. It's happening, it's happening. Into your hands, into your hands. Aha. Your blessings inside the waters in your place of bath. Your blessings inside the river. Your blessings in foreign lands. Your blessings that the bond woman has stolen. Your blessings. Tell him from your place of work. Recover it. 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 Yes, he's coming. He's coming. They are placing this on your hands. Amen. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting this morning, and you remember clearly that your parents cast you, they cast you. And you can see the outworking of these curses upon your life. Please be on your knees. The first thing is to repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you for upsetting your parents. Confess your sins before the Lord. For whatever you did that made them to issue curses upon your life. It's important you do that before we can pray with you. Until they've done that confession. They need to confess. And ask the Lord to forgive them. For in whichever way they upset their parents. Everybody will shout this prayer loud and clear. This is a prayer vomited by the Holy Ghost to make you possess your possession. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every chain binding my legs break in the name of Jesus. Chain binding my leg. Break, 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 break. Break the chain by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bukatenda ya boshente ra boshente. Bukatenda.
it is time to pray these very dangerous prayers. Shout it louder than anyone around you. Satanic vultures. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the vultures of darkness. Deal with the vultures of darkness. Satanic vultures. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpent strong man. Trouble my family. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with a voice that roars like thunder, pray this prayer. Stubborn strong man. Is that the loudest you can say it? Stubborn strong old. Is that the loudest you can say that one too? Can you shout the two things loud and clear? Release my destiny in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Stubborn strong man, stubborn strong old. Release my destiny. Makata sate la ya bo shandi In Jesus' name we pray. Say every power. Renewing satanic power against me. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Renew satanic power against me. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with boiling anger, reckless anger, and with violence in your voice, pray this prayer. Don't say I prayed it before. It will be a mistake to say so. The enemy that came while I slept you are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. My Red Sea. Hear yeah, the, the word of the Lord. Divide by fire. In the name of Jesus. Speak unto your Red Sea to divide. My Red Sea, hear the word of the Lord. Divide by fire. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Don't say I've been praying this prayer before. There is an anointing upon it for this early morning. Pray it again with reckless violence. Powers prolonging my problems. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, deal with the problem prolonging powers. Makatenda rabo sopola kaya bo shente raba. Somebody is broken through already. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say my breakthroughs. What are you doing in the valley of witchcraft? Can you shout that loud? Jump out by fire in the name of Jesus. Command them to jump out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Ground open. Can you shout that with the command? Swallow up every incantation uttered against me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to command the grant to swallow the incantations. Issued against your life, issued against your destiny. My potter said, Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So every evil burial for my sake. Die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and kill the evil burial. In Jesus' name we pray. Every attempt to cover my glory. Hey, if I wear your shoes, my voice will be louder than that. Can you say it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, my glory shall not be covered. But set her the curtain the care about shame In Jesus' name we pray. Powers of the grave. Shout it loud. Untie me now. In the name of Jesus. Untie me. Untie me. Powers of the grave. Untie me. Be untied. Be untied. Be untied. Be untied. In Jesus' name we pray. Every tongue contrary to my progress, we die in the name of Jesus. Command the tongue to wither. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer is both an attacking prayer and a defensive prayer. 
and it is important that your voice roars like thunder. Powers, calling my name in darkness. Can you shout that loud? I bury you now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Somebody's been set free. Get yourself ready now. Why clapping your hands and singing this song loud and clear? The power of God will once again begin to move to break and to destroy yokes and to destroy bondages. Sing it with a loud voice. Sing it while clapping your hands. And as you pronounce it in your mouth and sing it loud, the louder you say it, the faster the power of God will begin to move in your situation. Get yourself ready now. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke every yoke must be broken. With a loud voice, 
This is the final prayer we are praying here today. With a loud voice. Say, yoke of evil company. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Yoke of evil come to break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Holy Ghost! Overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Overshadow my life. Makatenda Yaboshanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Power of deliverance. Come upon my tongue. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through with that prayer too. Power of deliverance come upon my tongue. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Ghost fire. Baptize my tongue. In the name of Jesus. Baptize my tongue. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my tongue carry the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. I drink the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to drink the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My mouth shall not assassinate my destiny. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My father, my father, my father. Allah disgrace my Goliath in the name of Jesus my father my father my father arise disgrace my Goliath my seteke aboshente rabasandia In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, some people here need to pray this next prayer with powerful violence. Anywhere my name is mentioned in darkness. Can you shout this loud? Fire of God. Scatter them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Anywhere, my name is mentioned in darkness. And the fire of the God of Elijah scatter them. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' name we pray. I plug my life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and plug your life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. I plug my life into the socket of divine favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Power! Is that the loudest who can shout it? Is that the loudest who can shout it? Shout it. To have recognition in heaven. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus, heavenly recognition, the power of heavenly recognition. Power of heavenly recognition, fall upon me now. In Jesus' name we pray. equal to fly come upon me now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and ask for that power to for my equal to fly fall upon me now Masikaya Boshenta in Jesus name we pray power against unclean spirits fall upon me now in the name of Jesus power against unclean spirits Jesus, then we pray. Power of resurrection fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Power to please God. Fall upon me now in the name of Jesus. Power to please God. Fall upon me now. Masete ke tende ke ya boshanda, ribo sependa ke ya boshenta raba kasanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Power to destroy my weaknesses. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Power to destroy my weaknesses. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
with a voice that has no respect for the devil. Can you shout this loud? Power! To pursue my pursuers! Fall upon me now! Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father. Allah. Envelope my life with favor. In the name of Jesus. Call upon your father. My father, my father, my father. Arise, I envelope my life with favor. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray say I fire back every arrow of affliction in the name of Jesus open your mouth and fire it back I fire back every arrow of affliction in the name of Jesus fire them back In Jesus' name we pray. Say, opportunity wasters. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pharaoh of my father's heart, let me go. In the name of Jesus. Bapata Satya. Pull your mouth up, pull your mouth up, pull your mouth. Yes, 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 yes. Be released, 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 be released. Mashika sepeli kaya mosheta. Open your mouth and decree. Continue, continue, continue. Aha! 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 Yes! 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 Don't negotiate! This is not a money of negotiation. In Jesus, then we pray. Aha! That's better. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You have been fighting a serious battle. But... When you pray this prayer, your enemies shall be disgraced. There is somebody who pray this prayer, and something is about to happen, which will make you dance in your room all night. Somebody praying this prayer, the Lord said, I should tell you, 
that your dry bones shall rise again. So can you shout this loud and clear? Every power that does not want to let me go in the name of Jesus oh yes oh yes my satanic eye it's happening it's happening it's happening my point is a telekayaba every power that does not want to let me go Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Be silent where you are. As I sing this song, just concentrate on Jesus as I sing this song. Thank you, Jesus. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. I know thy joy that fills my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. He touched me, oh, he touched me. I know thy job that fills my soul. Something happened, and now I know it touched me and made me. It's broken all the fetters. He has broken all the feathers. He has broken all the feathers. He has set me free. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah. He has set me free. Amen. As you pray this third prayer, four things are going to take place. God will scatter those who are saying this person over there will not get to the top. As you pray this prayer, you have been crawling all along, but now you will be running. As someone who will pray this prayer, and the problems that have been with you for long years, shall gather themselves and go back to the senders. I also somebody who pray this prayer now. I have a word to you. The God who made Sarah to laugh shall make you to laugh. Therefore, you will shout this loud and clear. Ladders of Pharaoh in my life Jesus, the ladders destroy the ladders. (laughs) 
the ladders of Pharaoh. Die! In Jesus' name we pray. Declare this with violence and with power. I cut off the head of my Goliath. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and cut off the head of your Goliath. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, empower me. Can you say that loud? In the name of Jesus, ask for the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. My father, empower me. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray every envious witchcraft trailing me like Saul trail David can I hear you saying that loud and clear make it louder than that That voice is still not loud enough. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Train me like Saul trained David. My body. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to really get angry in your spirit on this second prayer. Powers! Submitting my name to the coven. I say, sister here, if you will pray this prayer, by the time you get home, that which has troubled you for years will have been resolved. Submitting my name to the covens. You are a liar. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening right. I told you. Masika tende ke yabo shente raba. Malaka tende rabo sopole ke yabo shente raba. Yes, 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 yes. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Masika yabo shente rabo sopole ba. Aha. Jesus name we pray evil birds flying in the night against me crash land in the name of Jesus
Evil bears blind the night against the Christ land. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Occultic embargo targeted against me. Can you shout his love? Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Occultic embargo targeted against me. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, Masaria Katendaya Boka Center. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you are that person here, many, many years ago, somebody died, and you followed them to a place where they said they were going to call out the spirit of that dead person to find out who killed the person. You follow them there. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Because since, since that time, that spirit has not released you. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. This is a very serious prayer. Balaam cursed and it happens. When he now wanted to practice the curses on children of God, he failed. Powers! I had to curse me. Fall! After the order of Balaam. Powers! I had to curse me. Fall! After the order of Balaam. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray to my prayers say poison and magic of the enemy swallow your owners in the name of Jesus their poison and their magic let it swallow them in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray every projection of sickness into my life from the dream can I hear the sister saying so sisters can you shout it is that the loudest sisters can shout Brothers, can I hear you saying the same thing? Everybody together now. 
Everybody shout it is again. In the name of Jesus. Kill that projection. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that roars with expectation and violence. Say, my father, in my dreams tonight, appear in the name of Jesus. Call for the appearance of the Lord into your dream land. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any power monitoring my face on an evil mirror. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Any power monitoring my face on an evil mirror. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My name, my name become untouchable fire in the camp of darkness in the name of Jesus can you open your mouth and shout that let my name become untouchable fire in the camp of darkness In Jesus' name we pray. Power of Bezebub. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Deal with that power of Bezebub. Deal with the power of Bezebub. In Jesus' name we pray. Plantations of darkness in my life. What are you waiting for? Die! In the name of Jesus, deal with the plantation of darkness. Plantation of darkness in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Masikate Yaboshenderaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every projection of sickness into my life in the dream. Can you say that loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. Jesus, the projection of sickness into my life from the dream. 
backfire, 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 backfire. Masekaya Boshanda. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord said this particular prayer will bring uncommon breakthrough to many. Say every giant occupy my promised land. This is a serious prayer. Every giant occupy my promised land. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear them away. Masekatela yaboshende rabasanta. The saya the katende kayaba. Clear away the giants. In Jesus' name we pray. Decree this loud and clear. Say, I decree by the decree of heaven that my heaven shall open by fire in the name of Jesus. Pray the prayer to open your heavens. Jesus name we pray say I release confusion into the camp of my enemies can somebody shout that loud in the name of Jesus that's right Jesus name we pray they spoke to prophet Elijah they said man of God come down and he said no he said of me to come down let fire come down same way you are going to shout it loud and clear voices of demotion calling my name shut up in the name of Jesus silence them in Jesus name we pray shout this loud and clear masquerading enemy in my Can you shout this loud? Your time is up. Scatter in the name of Jesus. My pot has set ya. Rido kasetende ya bo shante. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that roars like thunder. Pray this prayer while laying your hands on your eyes. Blood of Jesus. Sanitize my eyes in the name of Jesus.
Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Ma ponte se te laka. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this after me loud and clear. We can't masquerade in power. Of my father's house. Dead. In the name of Jesus. We can't masquerade in power. Of my father's house die in the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, any time evil appears before me, be exposed and disgrace. Can I hear you say that again? Uh huh. Make it louder than that. Aha. Aha. In the name of Jesus. Yes, any time it will appear before me. Be exposed and his grace. Pray the prayer from your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this prayer. Is for some people here who are at the edge of awesome, uncommon miracles. All they need is just a small push, and they will have breakthrough of their lifetime. So many of such people here today, just a little push. This is why, with a voice that does not compromise, you need to now pray this prayer in closing. Don't say I've prayed it before. Pray it now. Dragon of my father's heart. At the edge of my breakthrough. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the dragon. Yes, it's happening now. Continue, continue. But put a center. Remove the pen de kayabasha. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, pick any song of praises from your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. Can you say that again loud and clear? Visit me by your fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon the Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Sing this song loud and clear. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Hallelujah. As I walk along the way, the way. Hallelujah. 
and clear. Garments of darkness in my spirit man die in the name of Jesus. is going on already. (laughs) 
basanteli kaya bo shendera ba. In Jesus' name we pray. The second garment to destroy is a garment that you must destroy with fire and with power. Garment of reproach. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The third garment is this garment of failure. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray garments inviting problems into my life catch fire in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Masikatende yabo shenta. Garment inviting problems into my life. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Jesus name we pray one more garment prayer this one will bring breakthroughs to your life if you pray to it I wear the garment of power by the power in the blood of Jesus open your mouth and decrease I wear the garment of power by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this louder? Honors of the Lord of tragedy. Jesus, open your mouth and decree it loud and clear. Owners of the Lord of tragedy, I am not your candidate. Carry your load, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load. In Jesus' name we pray. Answered which cry. In the name of 
Jesus. That's right. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Master Pelikaya Boshanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Any hidden sickness in my body. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the touch of the power. Yes, let the hours of infirmity go back. Go back to the senders. In Jesus, then we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let this hand collect fire. Fire of protection. Fire of healing fire of immunity in the name of Jesus I'm going to count seven from here and you smite where I ask you to smite once you smite that place if there is any sickness there hidden or open it will depart seven we start with the edge one two three four five Six, seven. Now go to your, 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 your chest. Make sure your hand touches your breast as you smite it. One. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, every hour in the breast is going out. Now go to your stomach. It is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. The strangers in the tummy, they are about to go now. The one in the kidney, they are about to go now. One, do it well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. Now go to your womb area. Your womb area now. Get yourself ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. Now your right leg. Your right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The left leg now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. 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 You will now pray this serious prayer. Sickness unto death. I am not your candidate. My family is not your candidate. Die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why you are here. Ma pata sepeli katela ka. Riba sepende kayaba. Manakandara bo sepende kayabo shenteraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Several hot times we shout this. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of the Lord. Shout in seven times. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Aha. Say blood of Jesus. Laminate my life. In the name of Jesus.
Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for praying those prayers. The overshadowing cover of God will rest permanently upon your life in the name of Jesus. Say, powers that wants me to die. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. They shall destroy themselves. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, 21 times, you are going to shout, blood of Jesus. When you now get to number 21, you will say, overshadow my life. 21 times. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you are that woman, some time ago when you had trouble, they actually asked you to sleep inside a coffin. Please be on your knees. It was a long time ago. You actually slept inside a coffin. The Lord wants to do wonders in your life today. Get on your knees. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear. Power to waste the wasters. Can I hear you saying that louder than that? Come upon my life now in the name of Jesus. Power to waste the wasters. In Jesus' name we pray. Wherever my enemies are gathered. Angels of the living God. Scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Ask for a scattering by the angels of the living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your right hand upon your head now. And declare this loud and clear. My head reject the covenant of failure in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree it I reject the covenant of failure by the power in the blood of Jesus open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth Jesus name we pray my blood 
reject the covenant of sickness in the name of Jesus my blood reject the covenant of sickness in the name of Jesus Pasepe la kaya bo shandia Rida katis In Jesus name we pray Now this particular one if you will pray it very hard now, something is going to happen that will change your history. My hands reject the covenant of poverty in the name of Jesus. Reject the covenant of poverty in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray my legs reject the covenant of bad luck in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree that I want you in Jesus name we pray I bind and cast out Every spirit of death and hell in the name of Jesus begin to bind and cast them out. The spirit of death and hell bind and cast them out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. speaking out a few lessons where from Acts 16. But this lesson, I want it to be clear to you. All those that rise up against God's children, if you forget everything I'm saying this morning, don't forget this. All those that rise up against God's children must, as a matter of necessity, crash and crumble. The Bible says, why did the Eden so furiously rage together? And why did the people imagine a vain thing? So the kings of the earth rose up against the Lord and against his anointed. But he said, thou shalt dash them in pieces. Moses understood this principle. After the ninth plague of Egypt, Moses went before Pharaoh. In Exodus 11, verse 4. Exodus 11, verse 4. Moses went before Pharaoh. Exodus 11, 4. And Moses said, thus said the Lord, about midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt. And all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the first one of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne. Unto the first one of the maid, maid servant that is behind the male and all the first one of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout the land of Egypt. Such as I was none like it nor shall be like it anymore. But against any of the children of God shall not a dog move his tongue. Against man or beast. That ye may know 
how the Lord the put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And listen to what he said in verse 8. And all these thy servants, they shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me. Saying, get thee out and all the people that follow thee. And after that, I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in great anger. He said, all of you are coming to bow down to me. Did it happen? Oh, yes, it happened. Exodus chapter 12, verse 30. And Pharaoh rose up in night, and all his servants, and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt. There was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night, and said, rise up and get forth from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go and serve the Lord as you have said. Also take your flocks and your heads, as you have said, and be gone, and bless me also. They are now asking for prayers. Pharaoh's are stubborn enemies requiring a very strong hand. As you can see from this story we read in Acts 16, God never panics. God foresees everything before they happen. God provides a perfect solution to a problem long before it occurs. If there is any problem you are encountering now, God knew about it a long time ago. He has prepared a solution to them. God solves a problem before it arrives. The solution may not appear when you want it. But if you continue trusting the Lord, the solution will come in God's fullness of time. Why? Because as a matter of necessity, the evil must bow before the good. No matter how long it takes. God does not arrive at the scene of the problem too late. He did not come late for Lazarus. And Lazarus' miracle made him the most popular man in town. Lazarus' miracle shocked his friends and surprised his enemies. God did not come late. God will not come late for you. There is no situation anybody is going through that can defeat the almighty God. You need the earthquake of deliverance today. When you arrive at your midnight, you need it. When there's a strong man in charge of your case, you need it. When there are powers boasting against you, you need it. When there are fearful enemies threatening you, you need it. When you have loud enemies like Goliath, you need it. When the enemies are mocking your prayers, you need to pray for the earthquake of deliverance. What is the key for provoking your earthquake of deliverance? Key number one, which is very, very important. Your attitude must receive the touch of God. The attitude to life, attitude to problems, attitude to what you are going through, that attitude is very, very important. A negative attitude will not get you anywhere. The attitude of Paul and Silas was that, well, God brought us here, he will deliver us. The attitude was that no matter what they do to us here, we are serving God, our God, we, still, we are still loyal to him. A lot of people get defeated every day by the kind of attitude to life, the attitude they put up. A lot of people, whenever they are passing through one tribulation or the other, it is written all over their face. They don't talk to nobody. They don't smile at anybody. They just get depressed. Attitude. Some, whenever they have a kinds of things facing them, what they do is just, they just take sleeping tablets and sleep off. Attitude. Some will be shouting at everybody around. It's attitude. Attitude. These men had a positive attitude. They believe in that song we used to sing that through the love of Christ our Savior, all shall be well. They believe in this song, one of our songs in these 70 days, which says, Faith does not know about dark tomorrow, for our Savior goes before. Many of us, we just need, we need to change our attitude. Change our attitude and become positive. Two, Paul and Silas were alert men. We must be alert, alert spiritual alertness. At midnight, they said, they started a prayer meeting. Key number three is praises. Praises. Plenty of us come late for the praise worship. Even sometimes when we sing, when we praise, some we are not interested. Some don't have in books. Sometimes some people don't even open their mouths to let them start prayer. It's prayer I came here for. I didn't come here for all these songs. I came here for prayer. Let them pray. I want my problem to go. Let them pray. The Bible says he's, God is glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. The Bible says praise 
executes vengeance against our enemies. The Bible says, through praises, we have the key over kings and nobles. The Bible says, praise is even a cure for a broken heart. The Bible says, praise will remove all binding spirits. The Bible says, praise brings down the manifest presence of God. And as you can see in this passage, praise can secure your release from every prison. Attitude, alertness, praises, purposeful praying. That's number four. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises in the prison. And as they praised God, in spite of their situation, the earthquake of deliverance was released. I have a word from the Lord for some people here who have been going through very, very hard times. And they have been asking questions, where is God, where is God? If you will pray from your heart here this morning, the God of the suddenest whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. And all of a sudden, those who saw you yesterday and they see you again today, they wonder whether you are the same person. If you will pray from your heart and believe God, glory be to the name of Jesus. Bow down your heads now. Tell the Lord that any sin that would disturb my earthquake of deliverance, forgive me, O Lord. Talk to the Lord now. Amen. Now, Christianity is a practical thing. The power of God is a practical thing. The Bible says, if any of you shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says shall come to pass. The Bible made an outstanding sweeping statement. It says it shall be so. The same thing. The same power that visited the prison of Paul and Silas can visit whatever spiritual prison you are in now. The prayers I want you to pray now. Don't allow anybody's voice beside you to overshadow your own. You are not here to play. He is not here to play. There are some here this morning. If they will pray these prayers with their hearts, their enemies will begin to run elter scatter. Not only that one. A strange picture will begin to play before their face. And those who have been masquerading before you will expose themselves. And all of a sudden, as we pray this prayer, the spirit of the end of the year breakthrough will be released in abundance and will be moving in so many lives. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? Earthquake of deliverance! Allah! Fight for me now! In the name of Jesus. Piata sea canta. Riabo cotende ke yabo shente yaba. Power of God has started to move. His power started to move. Amen. Amen. Well, I stop you. I stop it because some don't understand this prayer. If you understand it, you pray it like a mad prophet. If the earthquake of deliverance will fight for you now, the first thing that will happen is that you will be delivered. Then your deliverance will bring many deliverances. Your breakthrough will bring many breakthroughs. So that those who are attached to your destiny will not die unfulfilled. Try and understand what we are saying now. Many who are here this morning already, as far as the Almighty is concerned, the Almighty is disappointed because the level he wants you to be is not where you are. Therefore, you can't help the people God has assigned to you to help. What you are supposed to have is not what you have, so you can't help those who you help. You are giving testimony that God is doing great things for you. We thank God, but in God's arithmetic, that may be the most junior, the simplest thing that he just asked for you. God may say, go to level 40 and you are giving testimony on level 10. This is why we need the hard work of deliverance that will set us free so that others too can be free. Can I hear you shouting it? Hard work of deliverance! Allah! 
Fight for me now. In the name of Jesus. Let there be an arising of the earthquake of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Let the uncommon begin to take place. So that the people of God can move. To where you want them to be. In the name of Jesus. 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 Masikaya boshende rabokotunda kaya boshanda. Ribo soponde kenta. Makaribo ko soponde kaya boshente raba. Makatunde kapele kaya boshente yaba. Desembo kotunda kapala boshanta. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Continue. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. Some things are going to happen to some particular people I'm going to describe now. A ten persons here. Enemy have been pursuing you all your life. The magnet in your body that they are using to pursue you is being taken out now. Ten persons. Six sisters are here. Medically, the worldly doctors have written you off. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And that which they say is not possible for you, is being made possible now. Yes, that's the power of God. That's the power of God. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Yes. Aha, aha. Silence, beloved. Twelve persons here. A white garment prophet wash your head, thereby washing your virtues away. And those of your children, where you are now, you know yourself. The power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that stolen virtue is broken completely. Virtues stolen in the dream can be returned to the owners now. Let there be silence. Uh, somebody right at the back there. The way you can recognize yourself is that you are wearing a mixture of red and white. A, a personality entered into your life when you went to a strange place. It's, it's a dark, tall, giant man. There is a separation going on between you and this dark creature. It's being pulled out of your body. Let me wait for that to be completed. This is a very strange occurrence. Yes. The earthquake of deliverance is shaking the warehouse of the enemy where the money of many are hidden. And the money is being shaken out back to you. That's right. That's right. Shout this loud and clear. Ancient prison door. In my family life. Is that the loudest you can shout this important prayer? I'm sure you can say it louder than that. Pray! In the name of Jesus. Break them. Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Bosekatenda kapala kayaba. Ria, bosia, bakapanda kanta. Mona Satan de Kayabo Shanta. Break the prison door. Break the prison door. Break the prison door. Break the prison door. Enough is enough. Today is today. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. 
break it in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus, them we pray. Silent again. Oh, yes. They want you to die. But the arrows of death has gone back to the senders now. And the strange voices that have been summoning you, they've come back to the senders now. That's right. That's right. Say this loud and clear. At quack of deliverance! Can you shout this louder than that? my problems today. Can you say that loud and clear? Make it louder than that. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Something is happening. Something is happening. Let the problems die in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Be released. From the dark cages. Be released from the dark cages. Be released from the dark cages. Be released from the dark cages. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Someone is here. Your stepmother, unfortunately, was a witch and had completely swept off any good thing that wants to come into your life. You, that person, right there where you are. Of God is hitting you. It may be difficult for you to stand on your feet, but don't worry. Because that thing that has been stolen from you is being taken back into position. Yes, there's a power of God coming upon you. That's right. This next prayer is a command, it's a proclamation, and it's a confession. Root of captivity. In my life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the root. Now. Patasapa. Ria Caponde Sanda. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. Makapora boko soponde keya bo shente. Makaponde sende keya bo shente rabaka. Dasembe kotonde kapo. Beri boko pola kasanta yaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, right there where you are, pick a song of praises in your mouth. To the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords.
to him who alone dread great things, to him who understands all things. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to your holy name. Amen. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord my God is with me. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord my God is with me. Hallelujah, not afraid. Hallelujah, this man, because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, my God, is with me. I'm bold, I'm bold, I'm strong. For the Lord my God is with me. I'm bold. I'm stronger. For the Lord my God. Hallelujah. No, no. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and for the Lord. For the Lord. God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong, for the Lord my God is with me. I'm bold, I'm strong, for the Lord my God is Hallelujah, I'm not afraid. Hallelujah, I'm not dismayed. Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith. For the Lord, for the Lord, my God is with I'm bold, I'm bold, I'm bold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, this way, because I walk in faith. I Set my feet 
the half priest, he'll guide me till I see face to face. I've set my feet on God's road, and never will I turn around. I've left the dream. a loud voice sing this song loud and clear to the King of Kings and for the Lord of Lords. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above us. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above us. Let your No. 
preserve your life to this day. Could you please pick any song of praises and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Thank you for a time like this. Father, we praise your holy name for your people that you have brought here on this final pairing for this year. Father, we thank you for what you've done in our lives. Thank you for what you are doing right now. Thank you for what you shall continue to do. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, we are gathered before you now. We know that although this year has a few days to end, miracles can still happen. Testimonies can still multiply. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Yeah. We are gathered at this meeting. Give each one present here a divine present from above. Yeah. Do something new in the life of everyone gathered here today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let your power be in manifestation in our lives. To you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Close your eyes where you are, beloved. Let's remain silent before the Lord. As I pray for some people here now, immediately I begin to pray those prayers. The power of God will begin to move upon such people. And what they have told you is not possible. The power of God will begin to make them possible. And those who are here, and there has been a strong man assigned against your life. Anywhere you go, they follow you. It's like a powerful follow, follow spirit. What you lay your hands upon, they try to destroy. They are attacking you in a circular form. Father, I pray that those people under such categories, all around battle, circular warfare, wherever they are standing, let your angels that are, have already surrendered this place, Go to such people. Extract from their lives. Everything the enemy is using as a ladder. Pursue them. Let your power begin to move. To fulfill this right now. In the name of Jesus. That's the first person. 
That's number two. That's number three. You, the ancestral spirit husband, let that sister go right now. In the name of Jesus. Something is going to happen to ten people. All your wealth that the enemy has used this year to capture. Before the year runs to an end, they will all come back to you. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Please. In the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. Something is happening over there. That's number six. Number five, number six. Eight, okay, nine. Eight. And that's number ten. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That infirmity that wants to follow you into the coming year, I bind it. In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. Silence, beloved. The powers that said... That over their dead bodies will you prosper right now. Where they are, let the judgment of the Almighty visit them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> the first person is a lady. Number two, number three. Now, with a voice that is louder than anyone around you. If somebody's voice is louder than yours, it means you have not started praying. I want you to quickly pray these few prayers. Please. Pray with violence and with fire. Can you shout this loud and clear? Arrows fired into my Can you shout this loud? To disgrace me. Back fire. In the name of Jesus. Through your mouth and decree. The decree of the Almighty is coming upon you. Basepi la kitande rabo santia. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards us here. Basi kapota le kariba. Father, let the anointing. Let the electric current of God flow into these hands. Lay that hand on your head now. And shout this loud and clear. Every power of my father's heart assigned to rubbish my life. You are a joker. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord is about to release the earthquake of deliverance that will shake ancient gates and ancient bondages to pieces. Sing this song of praises louder than anyone here. Paul and Silas were in the, were, they were in the prison. The Bible says they sang praises and prayed. And the Lord released an earthquake of deliverance. Sing this song of praises loud and clear before you now go into other prayers. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. By Jesus come, Cassita. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. By Jesus come, Cassita. Hallelujah, praise the Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus come to save us. Hallelujah, save us all. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Jesus come to save us. God, 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 God,
volume at all. Shout this loud. Every darkness. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. The cage must be broken. It must be broken. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. Continue to lay your hands upon us. Silence, beloved. There's a woman here. They have written you off completely. Concerning conception and childbearing, they wrote you off completely. Right there where you are. I'm not saying tomorrow or after some time. Right now. A volcanic eruption is taking place in your womb. And as a result of that volcanic eruption, the pregnancy of witchcraft planted into that place to prevent you from conceiving is forcing its way out. Silence, beloved. It's a very serious matter. It's like thunder is striking in that womb. Yes. That problem is over. And all of us shall come and rejoice with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon someone here that all the blessings assigned for you this year, no matter the threat of the enemy, shall not disappear with this year. Let your voice be loud. Sit down, beloved. We go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Been a good place to introduce this message to you. Called Dealing with Destiny Sinkers. Dealing with Destiny Sinkers. In Isaiah chapter 40, we see a very, very interesting passage which we should really all memorize. Isaiah 40. Look at it in verse 31. It says this. But they that will wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Then they shall run and not weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So those that wait upon the Lord are regarded as eagles and they shall mount up with wings. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Then in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7, you find Ecclesiastes chapter Proverbs, verse 7. 
Ecclesiastes 10 7. Although the Bible says our position is the position of the eagle and we should mount up. But look at Ecclesiastes 10 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Meaning that you could be a prince inside, but you walk as a servant outside. Meaning that you could be an elephant inside, but you are walking about like an ant. Maybe be a lion inside, but you are walking about like goats in real life. There is a power that can cage the prince inside the servant. There is a power that can convert the prince to a trekker. There is a power that can remove the prince from the horse and elevate the servant to the top of that horse. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. All the servants that are riding on the horse of your destiny, may they somersault and fall. And you shall climb your horse. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roll at Jonah. The position of heaven is eagle. But there is something that can convert that eagle. And heaven will look and shake its head. Say, what a pity. What a pity. This is who you are supposed to be. This is who you have been converted to. And one terrible thing is for you to accept what the enemy has given to you as your final. I pray for anyone here who is beginning to get used to problem to darkness that your story must change. In the name of Jesus. A man cried himself to sleep because nothing was working. Nothing was working. The wife had moved out of the house. Children are distributed all over the relatives. He could not feed properly. He used to be very rich now. He's very poor. He had a total of six cars at the front of the house. All of them dead. He cried himself to sleep. He so certainly, this is not my lot. I need divine intervention. Then he had a dream. In the dream, he saw himself in heaven. And I was an angel taking him about. He saw a beautiful house. He saw beautiful things. As the angel was taking him about, there was a man coming opposite them. And some man looking well-fed, looking happy, contented, glorious. And the man approached them. This man now asked the angel, who is this man? Why is he so happy? The angel said, sorry. That is the person you are supposed to be. But this is where you are. There is an evil gap between the person you are supposed to be and the person you are. Go and pray that that evil gap will be closed. That was the prayer point he got. And he woke up. Went into seven days dry fast. Praying just one prayer point. And by the time his fasting was over, his story had changed. I'm praying for somebody here that the gap which Almighty wants you to be shall be closed by the blood of Jesus. A lot of people were flying eagles before, but they were shut down. There are four places you visit in life. Four places you can visit in life that will make you think very deeply as a preacher. If you're a man of God, you're a child of God, you're a, you're a minister of the gospel, if you go, to, when you get to those four places, you, you become sober. The first place is a psychiatric hospital. Oh no. Unless your heart is made of stone, when you get to that place, you wonder the wastage the enemy has done. I went to a psychiatric hospital some time ago. I went to pray with the sister. Immediately she delivered a baby. She said, this is not a baby. This is a stone. They say it's baby. Say it's stone. Baby stone. And she wanted to kill the new baby. So they quickly injected her. The, the, so they took her to the psychiatric hospital. She did not even realize she had, that she had already given birth. That was the person I went to pray with at the psychiatric hospital. But as I was getting there, these very rich people came with their limousine car. A man and a woman. Very rich, looking expensive. I came in my downfall bus. The downfall bus is over there. I came and I saw them. 
they moved. They took them to their daughter. They had only one daughter. The daughter just finished a PhD degree. Immediately she finished the degree and they did graduation ceremony for her in the United Kingdom. She came to Nigeria. Second day, she ran mad. And when I saw the lady, she was she was a beautiful lady. But she had a lipstick was not on the lips. She put it on the nose. I said, how? Oh, wow. So the rich also cried. I, I shed tears too. Spent all the money. Teach a lady. Get a PhD. Ready to arrive and to run mad. You think very well then. That place is an avenue to see many egos that have been shut down. Princes that have not been converted to servants. Second place that makes you think is the leprosy colony. You see people there, strong men, muscular men, beautiful women, but this disease had chopped off their hands and their toes. So they couldn't do anything. They can't go and live with their family people. They put them in the leprosy colony. And each time they begin to sing, it melts your heart away. There are people who are practically hopeless. They can't come and live amongst human beings. There they live. And there they die. You think deeply. On egos be shut down. The third place you go and you think seriously is when you as a minister, they take you to the prison for condemned criminals. They condemned to death. Just waiting to be executed. And you are there as a minister. What do you want to tell them now? It's about to die. Destiny wasted. Life unfulfilled. Been, been a man condemned to death at the age of 25. So you, what's your profession? I studied medicine. You, I'm a lawyer. Why did you do what you did? I don't know. I don't know. Thank God to have mercy on me. There you think and you think deeply. Think and you think deeply. A father put on his television one night. He right, saw police like parading arm robbers. And his two sons were being paraded. He ran to Lagos for prayers. He brought the pictures of the children when they were little boys. Looking at those innocent pictures and what they are now become becomes a mystery of life. That's why I'm praying for somebody. Any power assigned to shoot down your eagle, let them begin to shoot themselves now. In the name of Jesus. Let them shoot themselves. In the name of Jesus. The fourth place you visit, and you think deep, is the cemetery. The greatest swallower of destiny is the cemetery. Here you see a lot of eagles that have been shot down by dark powers being buried when they are supposed to be alive. That's why somebody said the most expensive place on earth is the cemetery. So because you find plenty of unfulfilled destiny buried there. Find plenty of songs that were never composed inside the cemetery. You find plenty of ideas that never saw the light of the day inside the cemetery. And when you see them escorting somebody to the cemetery, and those who are following the person they are smoking cigarettes, or they are buying roasted plantain and, and granite by the side of the cemetery. You know that the person has made no impact. It's a terrible situation. Terrible situation. And it's very, very sad. So sad. Even in the average cemeteries, they have standby priests. Because some people are brought there with no pastor to conduct their burial. They are very strange priests. All the dead people section inside the uh, order of service book, those people have memorized it. While my young friend there who came to bury somebody in his church was trying to struggle and read the order of service, the man was reading it from the top of his head. He doesn't need to read any book. I pray that any power that wants you to die, dance your dance, those powers shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud. There is something known as destiny demotion. There is something known as grace to grass. There is something called from wealth to poverty. 
Many eagles have been dewinged. Many eagles are sick. Many eagles have been shut down. And it's very, very sad. Very, very sad indeed. We, as black people, the havoc we are doing to ourselves is terrible indeed. I pray that the Lord will deliver us. So a man's destiny can be likened to two birds. The eagle or the chicken. The eagle or the chicken. When the bird of the person's destiny is still alive, we say thank God for that. There are some people, the bird of destiny is dead. And many are just riding dead horses. This is why we need to pray some serious prayers here today. Serious prayer today. Ezekiel was a student in the university abroad. Plenty of us Nigerians then were struggling. All of a sudden, we found that Ezekiel's dresses began to change. His shoes were shining. He was coming to lecture room in cars. Nobody understood how Ezekiel was making it. We didn't know that Ezekiel had found a white girl that he had promised to marry. And so Ezekiel moved out of the campus and was living in the house of this lady. Ezekiel was married in Nigeria. He did not tell the white woman that he was married. A terrible thing. Terrible thing. He was very intelligent. He's been monitoring Ezekiel. Sometimes Ezekiel speaks to some people in Yoruba. And she does not understand what the man is saying. And if he says, what are you saying? So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. But there was something the white lady memorized that Ezekiel used to say to his friends. Omo shetan, omo gbebe. Say, don't worry. Omo shetan, omo gbebe. I will finish then, disappear. That was what the white woman memorized. Omo shetan, omo gbebe. So she kept looking for Nigerians. Yes. Are you Yoruba? Say yes. What is omo shetan, omo gbebe? I said, I don't know. Because she was not saying it correctly. What is Omo Shetan Omo Gweben? But she kept asking. One day she now asked a Nigerian. Said, do you mean Omo Shetan Omo Gweben? I said, I don't know, but that's, that's what the, 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 that's all, all she was. It's always saying on the phone. Well, if it's Omo Shetan Omo Gweben that he's saying, it means that this man is just using you. Very soon, when he has finished using you, he will run away. So since that day, the white lady was becoming very careful. But then it was not opening his letters. After that, he began to open the letters. Sure. One day, a letter arrived from Nigeria. Dear husband, how are you? After the end of the letter, the children greet you. So the white lady held on to the letter. When Ezekiel came, he said, Who wrote this letter? I said, You see, you don't understand Nigerian culture. In Nigeria, if a woman likes you, this is the kind of letter they'll be writing to you. I said, But greet your children, greet you. I say it's, the, it's just prayer that prayer that children later the woman did not believe. She took a gun, blew up the head of Ezekiel, and then killed herself. That's all. The day they met, the bed of destiny of Ezekiel died. I pray that anybody that will come your way to kill your bed of destiny shall not show up in the name of Chickens follow a crowd senselessly. Chickens normally squabble and fight. One chicken will say a worm. The other chicken wants a worm. They have no interest in the heavenlies. They are all earthbound. Chickens are so limited. They are so predictable and boring. Chickens are easily frightened. They are afraid of challenges. Always scratching the ground in the dirt. They are helpless against predators. One small dog or cat can kill a chicken in a farm. That is why every prayer meeting is a, des is, a, is a hospital for destiny diseases. So a destiny can be polluted, diverted, demoted, diverted, destroyed, caged, demonized, aborted, paralyzed, but can also be made to sink. And when a destiny is made to sink and the person does not even know that he's already in trouble apples. Person destiny is disgrace. There are wicked agents whose duty it is to do this. And this is where the ministry of deliverance comes in. And this is the blunt truth. Any church you are going to and they are not teaching you about spiritual warfare as a black person. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your money. 
Even if they make you a deacon, a deaconess, pastor, you just deacon your life and pastor your life into hellfire. I want you to understand this and know what to do and know how to pray now. When I was a young student in the university, trying to make some money, I was teaching in a lesson school where they teach students private lessons. There was a lady that comes to the class, extremely light in complexion, very beautiful. She talks to nobody. Comes to the class, sits down. The only time she talks is when she wants to answer questions. Each time I enter that class, the Lord will say, son, you are looking at a principality. You are looking at a principality. Principality. When I came early to class, she too came early. And I confronted her. She, you are not an ordinary person. Principality. Ah, she said, ah, that's true. That's correct. What's the problem? Yeah. I'm from the water. So what's the problem? She said, have you ever read about the Nigerian Civil War? I said, yes. So did you read that there was a time some soldiers were crossing the river and their, their canoe capsized and they all sank during the Nigerian Civil War? I said, I can't remember that, but I think I, I, think I had something like that. She's from that river. Those soldiers that we say sank, they, they did not sink. I said, they are all house boys in our kingdom. So I just came here to gather more people. It was like a storybook. But that was not my problem. I had a friend who was teaching together, a teacher. The main of that teacher was Mr. Idaosa. Idaosa was running after this guy. I called him, I said, ha, ah, principality, run, Idaosa. I so said, you foolish as you, you people don't enjoy yourselves. Idaosa started running after this guy. The last time I saw Idaosa was across the street in Portacourt, picking empty leaves on the floor. Messed up destiny destroy. What should we do? We need to surrender our life to Jesus. Not only that one. We need to understand the, the environment in which we are. Not only that. We need to wage war against the destiny sinkers. Not only that. We need to pray to repair our destinies. There are prayers to pray here this morning. Very serious prayers. If you pray and you lose your voice, but you receive deliverance from their hands, and the servants riding your horses are thrown down, you have made a good bargain. But if you decide to play a gentleman and you begin to pray like somebody who does not know what we're talking about, it not be my fault. I will have explained to you problems and that there is solution available. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. This is the final prayer for the year. The Lord told me that he has an agenda for everyone who has presented here. Amen. All eyes closed. If you are here today, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to help you. I'm here to help. Just raise up your right hand. I want to pray with you so that you too can be a partaker of the blessing of today. God bless you. Those of you raising up your right hand, just come very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you. Do it very quickly. Just want to go and pray. of you at the altar, I congratulate you for taking the most important decision in life. Bow down your head. Just say what I'm going to say now after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, go to pray with you now. 
Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray that you uphold them by your power. Lay your hands upon their life. Keep them standing by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Right there where you are, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Bow down your head. Thank the Lord to forgive you of any sin at all that may want to hinder you from being blessed now. Ask him to forgive you of any, any sin at all that the enemy want to hold against you at this final prayer of the year. Jesus is here. His power is in this place. To be a tragedy. If you behave like a gentleman, a gentlewoman today, and the enemy continues to raid your life, tell him to forgive you. Amen. The prayers of this morning, they are all threefold in agenda. One, they are meant to ensure that none of our blessings disappears with this year. Two, they are meant to cost any servant riding the horses of our destiny to some assault. And three, they are meant to repair any destiny that has been destroyed. So it is dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous to pray like a gentleman. Shout this loud and clear. Witchcraft powers are assigned to waste my destiny. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. As many people as are here this morning, and there is conscious and unconscious poison the enemy has introduced into your body. The power of God is challenging those poisons. And they are coming out now. That's number one. Number two. Just out. Through the mouth. Through the nose. It's happening here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Yes. You that stubborn spirit husband. I disconnect you from the life of this sister. Right now, in the name of Jesus. That's right. This is number two. My dead virtue come alive. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and cry. Yes. In Jesus, then we pray. The power that has tied down your virtue has been changed now. 25 persons are here. You are laboring under witchcraft curses. I have an announcement to you from heaven that those curses have been cancelled. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Look at what is happening over there. Number eleven. Number twelve. Thirteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and that's number 25. Thank you, Jesus. My dead virtues come alive in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. A seven-year-old problem, a thirteen-year-old problem, a sixteen-year-old problem, they have just been solved now. That's right. My dead virtue come alive. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. Today is today. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number five. My dead virtue, what are you waiting for? Come alive by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number six, my dead virtue. Come along. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decline. Collect your intestine back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, those, those people begin to do what you are not able to do before. Because those organs...
Raise up your voice like fire and thunder now. Say, my father, visit me, child. In the name, open your mouth and declare. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we thank you for your grace and your power. Thank you for the mightiness of your name. Thank you for your name which is above all names. Thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, lay your hands upon us. Quite trust by your power. Glory be to the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Administration, we're starting an experiment tonight. Occasionally here at the headquarters, we shall be showing you video films. This evening, I want you to listen carefully to the testimony of somebody. Because a lot of us are a mountain of fire. We are not utilizing all that God has given us here. It is sad sometimes that most will buy our books. And some of us don't even read those books at all. Listen to this testimony before we go on to tonight's message. Over to you. My name is Iyobosa. Some time ago, a very evil wind blew against my marriage. And so my marriage broke down for over six years. After I finished from the law school, the place where I was living in, there was a lady there who knows about a um, mountain of fire. And when she heard my story, she gave me, pray your way to break through. She prayed with me and also gave me that book. But it was torn. So I looked through it. I was shocked because I had never seen prayers like that in my life. So when I got to Benin, I went to Selu and I bought my own. You know, there they wrote, they will write it, uh, how you can use it to pray. So I started to pray night VG with it. I prayed. It should be about one year. I started to take it uh, uh, prayer point by prayer point. Uh, prayer point 91. And that one I was praying it on my husband, mentioning his name. 86, casting oppressors into a uh, dead sleep. 87, let it be known that at God. All those ones, I started praying it. So when I started praying it, the walls of Jericho, the walls of Jericho around my marriage started to break down. My husband started to uh, phone me and uh, giving me money. I forgot to say my husband moved in with another woman with my own children. So, three. I started to pray and praying for my children. I think prayer 33 or 31 is for children. Anytime I prayed for my children, God will reveal something to me about my first one, what they wanted to do. I started to pray every night, every night, 11 to 5 or 11 to 3, every day. So, after a while, my husband started to come to his senses because that uh, on cage partner from, there's a place where he said, receive your divine senses. And then he started to call me. Things were now getting better. So, but when it was, <laughs> when it was, so my husband now wanted us to come together. But my mother-in-law said, no way, and her sisters. Then, I happened to be in Benin again. My husband would tell me, go and meet this one. We say, mm. everybody wants to, but my, uh, the mother. So I now went back again to say, look to that bookshop. When I got there, because my mother-in-law's sisters, they said they will do meeting and put me in the center. And in Benin, I know it doesn't happen. It is the man that has the upper hand. It's not my father-in-law's people now, my mother-in-law's people. So I went to Selu, to that bookshop, to Mountain of Fire there. When I got there, I met the woman there. I said, hm, Madam, after greeting, I said, hm. They said they want to uh, do meeting and put me at the center, low. So the woman said, to, I told her, give me the book now that you know I will read that will help me. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. <laughs> so she looked and then she gave me um, violent prayers to disgrace stubborn problems. I said, this one, say uh, 450, okay, I bought it, I went home. Then inside it, there's one uh, a place that said, releasing confusion, I think it's 19, I can't remember. Releasing confusion on your enemies. I took that one. I started praying it, praying it, praying it. Then all those people that gathered and said they must put me in the meeting, oh, they will do this, they will do that. God, God shared problems for them all, one by one, one by one. Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! And 
the Lord God took my mother-in-law away from this country. She that said no go agree, carried her away. So my uncle-in-law that stood as my father-in-law when, my, when they married me, the, voice, uh, the Lord said to me, go and meet him and tell him that you were the one that they gave me to. That's how they do it in Benin. And I called Baba, I said, Baba, the day they gave me to you people, it was you they gave me to. He said, come, just go and beg so-so and so person. And after I come back, before I went to beg that person, every night I will pray, every night I will pray. I say, God, this one, he gets his wife, oh. Every night he go, he go wake up seeing children. He go seeing wife. Father, I prayed with his name. Then I went. When I got there, he said, please go, go, go. God has told me never to put my mouth in your matter again. Go, go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> so that was, that was said never. I said, because if he talk, put God go punish him. So and I went back home and I told Baba, Baba said, okay, come. So I went, I came to Lagos to meet Baba. As I came, my, Baba called my husband. Baba said, him be Christian, you know the kid goat, you know the kid anything. He took my husband's hand, took my hand again, joined us together, prayed, prayed, prayed. That is how I enter my home. Oh. And my children are okay, and I'm still praying. Since I knew about Mountain of Fire uh, books, my life has changed. I've become a terror even in my neighborhood. Pray! Shout seven thunders, hallelujah! We thank God for the life of our general overseer. God is using tremendously. Shout aloud, hallelujah! Let's open our Bibles into Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Tonight, we're looking at what I call crash landing prayers. Crash landing prayers. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians 6 12. Very popular scripture. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Then he says, Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Another version of the Bible says, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Keep that at the back of your hand. Now in Zechariah, second to the last book in the Old Testament. Zechariah chapter 5, from verse 5. Zechariah chapter 5, from verse 5. We're looking at crash landing prayers. Zechariah 5, from verse 5. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, This is an effort that goeth forth. He said, Moreover, this is their resemblance throughout all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead. And this is a woman that seated in the midst of the effort. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast it on the midst of the effort. And he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. Then lifted up my eyes. And looked and behold. There came out two women. And the wind was in their wings. For the other wings are the wings of a stock. And they lifted up the effort between the earth and heaven. Then said I to the angel that talked with me. Whither do this bear the effort? And he said unto me. To build it an house in the land of China. And it shall be established and set there upon our own base. Please listen very carefully. God opened the eyes of this prophet and he saw a basket. The basket was in the sky above. But inside that, which is really small in size, there was a big woman sitting inside. And when they looked at that, and say, what is this one? He says, this is wickedness. The thing was above. And until that lead was closed, the basket was shut down. It still remained there floating in the sky above. 
there is something known as spiritual military intelligence. Spiritual military intelligence. This is the business of learning who the enemy is. The business of learning how the enemy operates. The business of learning what his objectives are. And the business of learning how he is planning to accomplish those objectives. That is spiritual military intelligence. Listen, beloved. Whether we like it or not, our well-being is affected by evil princes of this world. Our well-being is affected by mighty powers of darkness. Our welfare is affected by evil spirits who rule this world. Our wholeness is affected by spirits of wickedness that are in the heavenly realms. Whether you believe it or not, or whether you like it or not, there is an invisible society of spirits behind all physical occurrences in the world. Any occurrences in the physical world, there is an invisible society of spirits behind all of them. Whether it is good or bad, fortunate or unfortunate, everything that happens is as a result of good and evil or hostile spirits manipulating our lives. Certain invisible beings exist. Their plan is to disrupt the destiny of man. And they will kill and fulfill their purpose unless we oppose them. Therefore, it is good to learn crash landing prayers. There is a lot of camouflaging powers in our environment. And like I used to tell you, if you are living in a crazy world, you need to become crazy to match it. If you are living in a mad world, a little bit of madness is necessary for you to cope with them. If you are living in a mysterious world, you too have to become a bit mysterious to deal with them. Whether we like it or not, whether you see them or you don't see them, whether you believe or you don't believe, there are wicked powers abound, flying around us every day. And their agenda is to do us harm. I pray tonight that may such wicked flyers fall down and die right now in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. Your amen is not loud enough. There are terrible flying monitoring spirits in the sky over our head. This sky is not blank. It's not empty. Spirits moving about in it. You don't have to believe me, but I know what I'm talking about. A sister woke up at 1 a.m. and he found that at 1 a.m., Three birds flew into a banana tree at the front of her house and they disappeared. She stood there watching. I will see when they will come out. So she stayed. At 4 a.m., she had a whistle and the three birds flew again. And they flew out. I said, is this a coincidence? What kind of thing is this? She now decided that the next day she was going to remain awake. At 1 o'clock again, she was there. The birds came again. Right into the banana tree. 4 a.m. They left. She watched them for one week. One week. Then in the morning, she now took holy water that they blessed for her from somewhere. I wanted to pour it, want to pour it on the banana tree. Then she waited again to see what was going to happen after pouring the water. She found that that night only two of them flew. One did not fly. But by the next morning, a woman was knocking at the door and then warned her. So you went and poured dangerous water on the seat of one of our friends. So you destroyed a seat. So you didn't allow her to go to a meeting. Say, don't try it again. If you try it again, your mother will regret that they give back to you. Say, ah, mama, why are you talking to me like that? Say, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. And the woman went away. This sister does not have the necessary fire. Does not know the necessary prayers. She went back there to pour more water and then they launched a serious attack of insanity upon her. I'm praying once again that every flying power assigned to derail the destiny of anyone here, I command them to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. 
Et ça vous fait le mal. Listen, beloved. Not all that glitters is gold. Beautiful faces, handsome faces, not all that glitters are gold. We are facing a crafty enemy who has all kinds of masquerading devices. Very clever device. The devil did not offer Eve a rotting fruit. No. Satan never offers rotting fruit. It will repackage the poison in an attractive way. HIV, AIDS, will not come to you looking like a skeleton, but will be looking beautiful and handsome with correct perfume and dresses. If HIV was, was to be walking about the street like a skeleton, everybody would run away. So this guy is, is an old weapon in human conflict. The outside did not know that the envelope of money he collected from Neman was generational leprosy. He didn't know it was generational leprosy in disguise. So when you hear spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, it actually means wicked spirits that are in the firmament or in the sky. Unto every human being, there is a personal allocation of space over your head. There is, there is an allocation of heavens over each head. That's what the Bible was saying. Thy heavens, which is over thine head. So we all have general heaven. Then we have specific heavens over each person. There could be powers in your own specific heaven, not for everybody. Disturbing your life in the heavenly realm. There are principalities in the heavens of so many people who need to fall down and die. This is a very serious matter. It was many years ago. I think it was 1994, 95, and I can't remember. At the front of this bookshop, our bookshop here, bookshop here, was there the prayer warriors were praying here at night, and three birds flew past, and they pointed at them, and prayed crash landing prayers. Two escaped, one fell down. The one that dropped instantly became an old woman, right there at the front of the bookshop. I came to see her. Mama, what are you doing here? And she said, well, she didn't know they would be holding IVG here. Uh, she said that actually their function is for University of Lagos. That their duty is to strengthen the cult that are there. That if we know they are praying here, we will have taken another route. So okay. Now, since you have seen that a greater power has forced you to crash land, will you surrender your life to Jesus? She looked at me and spoke for the first time. With aggression. Say, a hey, war, Kamari. She said, God forbid that she had sold her soul to Satan. For those of you who are reading your Bible upside down, when you see somebody that you say surrender to Jesus, he say, she says abomination. And he says that they are surrendered her soul to Satan. Then you are saying, well, I love you with the love of the Lord. Reading the Bible upside down. It took us a great effort. To prevent the neighbors from stoning her. It happened. This happened at Elijah. Elijah land there. Two birds were flying. And believers pointed at them. As they pointed at them in the middle of the night. The two birds started fighting. God put confusion in their midst. One dropped. And became a human being. So what are you doing here? Said I'm on my way to go and battle some Christians. They fell down. The crash landed. There was another one that happened. It was at a Riambonke crusade. The bird went and stood on top of the large speakers. Large speakers. After some prayers, the bird became a young lady. Right there at the top of speakers. The prayer that people are praying has first of all made them to materialize. And then the crash landing started. I'm praying for somebody here today that the powers that are flying about to confront your destiny shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. That was another incident that I know about that happened in the prayer camp. 
somewhere outside Lagos State. The prayer warriors were praying inside their small camp room. All of a sudden, there was a loud sound on their ceiling, and somebody tumbled down. They ran out from their pyramid to see a woman rolling on the floor. They were confused themselves. How did you get here? Uh, she said, well, that she wanted to attend their meeting. And she was running late for that meeting. That she knew that fire was burning in that place. She just felt that if she flew very quickly, it would fly across the fire. But she did not escape. In all these instances, prayers brought down the flying wickedness. Thereby destroying the messenger and therefore the message. Those messengers of wickedness plus the message they carry against anyone here tonight shall perish by fire. In the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet now. The kinds of crash landing prayers is what we're going to pray now. If you are afraid, you better keep quiet. But if you know that there are forces contending with your destiny, pray this crash landing prayers where you've never prayed before. Something will happen because the arrow of these prayers will begin to move about in the sky and locate every flying wickedness. There is someone here. Those powers are used to fly into Lagos to trouble you. Mark these words. Tonight is the expiry date. Thank you, Jesus. With violence and with fire. We are not here to negotiate, you can see. There is no negotiation at all. With fire and with power. You will shout this loud and clear. Flying wickedness. In the name of Jesus, something is happening already. Bopata Santayaba, the Ribo Saponda Kayabo Shenteraba. Jesus, aha, in Jesus' name we pray. There's a brother here who's supposed to pray. He has not prayed yet. What a pity. How don't did you notice that for you to, to attain any small success, you fight and fight and fight. It's because of these principalities in your heavens that are blocking your heavens. Can you shout this loud and clear? Fly wickedness in my heavens. Fall down. In the name of Jesus, Pata Santa Lakaya Boshanda. Aha, 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 aha. This is not a night to negotiate. Somebody must say this loud. In Jesus' name we pray. Something strange is already happening in somebody's company. By the time you get home from this meeting, that dead bird you are going to see there, anoint the bird and burn it. Say, wings of flying witchcraft. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Jesus, command our wings to catch fire. Then we pray. Wicked powers of my father's house fly in the heavens. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes. Aha, aha, aha. Jesus, then we pray. Aha. Your benefits that have been picked up by these flying birds, they have dropped it for you now. Let nobody's voice overshadow you. Blood of Jesus arise in your power. You shout out loud. Scatter every wickedness above my head. In the name of Jesus. 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 Scatter it. Scatter, scatter. Thou power God in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening here. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. He looked at the woman in the basket. He said, this is wickedness. Fly witchcraft. Hear the word of the Lord. Fall down and down. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, 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 aha. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. There are 25 persons here tonight. The prayers we are praying now is what their destiny has been waiting for. What is going to happen is this. All of a sudden, those things that we have been finding so, so difficult will just become easy. This next prayer, if you pray and you lose your voice, but the miracle happens. I have made a good bargain. But if we keep quiet, it is a sad matter. There are men and women who need to pray this prayer really hard. Flying power! Stealing my 
my virtues. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Name we pray. Share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of our Lord. All the days of the Lord. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Shout the loudest, hallelujah. Let's close our eyes where we are and raise up our two hands to the Lord as we sing this song loud and clear. Power must change and speak my life, no matter what that them. Power must change and speak 
my life, no matter what that woman's in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, power must change. Hallelujah, no matter what the Sing it again loud and clear. Power must change. Hallelujah, no matter what the devil Power must change and speak my life. Hallelujah, no matter what the in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, power must change and save my life, no matter what that can Thank you, Jesus. Today's Power must change and service is actually divided into two sections. One, we go to our regular power must change and two, we go to a period of deep deliverance using those pictures in your hand. I want you to recognize that the battle we're here to fight is a battle that has been set in concrete. We need to break that concrete open, and that is not an easy job. Prayer is not a lazy job. Prayer is not for the lazy man. So if you are in this program and you are allergic to prayer, I suggest you leave. Because this is prayer city. And this is mountain of fire and miracles. But if you are here and you are determined, seriously determined, and you possess that rugged determination to succeed, let your hand do what you are doing here today. Let your head do it. Let your body do it. Let the devil understand that they don't have the final say. There is a man in the heavens who has the overruling voice. And I see somebody here today. His voice shall overrule every problem in your life. Let your amen roar like thunder. So within the next few minutes, I want you to praise God from your heart. Because he's glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. And he habits the presence of his people. Forget whatever trouble brought you here. Forget any crusade the enemy is holding against you. Now like Paul and Silas, praise God from your heart. And bring his power down upon your life. Even if you are sick, open your mouth and sing. As you are singing the songs, the strength of heaven will be entering to you. Everybody testifies, you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody testifies, you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are. Hallelujah, everybody testifies. Your hand, your hand, your hand. Hallelujah, everybody testifies. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. God of Elijah, send on fire. 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 Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes. Sir. Hallelujah. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. Fire. Let our fair light send down fire. Let our fair light send down. Maduni Lena, see, hey, boobie. Hey, boobie, Jehovah, Harampa. Boobie, Jehovah, Harampa. Jehovah, Madam, 
Now listen, I'm going to ask you to pray. Plenty of prayers in a few minutes. But mark these words from God. Immediately the process of this prayer start. Any evil tree growing in the life of anyone shall be uprooted. Not only that, if you are here, and some times ago, they cut off part of your hair, or they cut your clothes, and those things are now on a satanic altar. Immediately, the process of the prayer starts. You may notice itching on your head. Don't worry about that. Your stolen glory will be restored. <laughs> During the process of this prayer, as many people as are in the garden here today, and somebody who had died is the one responsible for the problem you are going through now. Whatever virtue of yours has been buried in the grave shall be uprooted by the angels of fire. And they will place it in your hands right there where you are. During the process of this prayer, if what is happening to you is an evil dedication, that dedication will be cancelled. All parents who are here pray this prayer well. Because as you pray this prayer, Anybody whose brain has been exchanged, the Lord will restore 100%. During the process of this prayer, strange poisons will begin to get out of the body. Get yourself ready now. Get yourself ready. There is a sister in this meeting. You went for a surgery, but the surgeon was an occultic man. And he had taken materials from your body, affecting you negatively now. I am going to count seven from here. And the power of God will fall upon you where you are. And the occultic arrows in your body shall go out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's the person over there. You have been set free. As you pray this pressure, those who are under the bondage of polygamous witchcraft one by one the angels of fire will set you free <laughs> plenty of prayers in few minutes immediately you hear me open your mouth like thunder and fire and pray don't wait for too long 
Because if you wait for too long, we'll have moved to the next one. Say, so any power blocking my deliverance. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Duh! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to train. Jesus is here. Basapia ni katenda. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came. Say, the enemy that came while I slept. Can I hear you saying that again? There is a woman here from Cross River who needs to shout that prayer loud. Let everybody shout it like thunder. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. That's right. Bapata setela kaya boshanda. Something is happening here this morning. This is why Jesus brought you here. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> there are some people here today. This next prayer is for them. And they should pray it with merciless violence. That man over there, let your voice be loud. This is a serious matter. And this prayer is for you. Every power planning my disgrace. Can you shout it loud? Die! In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be disgraced. Aha, 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 aha. Yes. Yes. Bapata seteli katana. Riba sapende kaya bo In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, all those that want to drink your blood shall drink their own blood and eat their own flesh. Say, powers of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Can you shout it loud? Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that word. Yes, powers of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for somebody over there. The Lord said, before you leave this place today, He will give you a miracle that will make you forget your past troubles. And those powers that hate to see you laugh shall be scattered unto desolation. Not only that, that which you are going through now, for your sake, the Lord will change the room.
Shout this loud. Arrows of wastage. Arrows of death. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Send them back. Just... Let that be silence. Silence. Don't say anything until I ask you to talk. When I ask you to talk, it's just to shout a sevenfold amen. But right now, just focus your attention on Jesus. Father, any abnormality in the body of anyone here now or watching us or listening to us, let your angels of healing be released now and begin to visit these people one by one every arrow of infirmity in the head the one in the ears the one in the eyes the one in the stomach the one in the womb the one in the two legs hear the word of it is written the strangers shall fade away they shall be afraid after their close places. That place where you are, you are a stranger. Now get out. Get out now. In the name of Jesus. I say, get out. In the name of Jesus. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of affliction, your time is up. I bind you and I cast you out. Father, anything that needs to be replaced in anybody's life, let your power begin to replace them now. In the name of Jesus, everything that needs to be taken out from anybody's body, let your power begin to take them out now. In the name of Jesus, the strong man behind your problems, I command that strong man to die. Yes, enough is enough. Aha. Powers from the waters, powers of the night, afflicting anyone here. Lose your hold now, in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Powers that swallows the fruit of the womb. I bind you and I cast you out right now, in the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. Silence. Get ready to say your sevenfold amen now. All the forces that have refused to let you go, like the Pharaoh in the Bible, in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, I command them to let you go now. Shout it again. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are gathered before you here today in this very special meeting. Thank you for what you have done already. Thank you for what you are going to do now. Thank you for what you are going to do before we go. Thank you for what you are going to continue to do. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. 
Father, let there be no one present here today or watching or listening to us who will go away with a plastic experience. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Breaking the cord of wickedness. That's the title of this short message. It's important you listen very carefully. Breaking the cord of wickedness. In Psalm 129, verse 4. Psalm 129, verse 4. I think we should all open to that passage and then we should all shout it loud and clear. Psalm 129, verse 4. If you are there, say yes. Are you ready now? Let's read it together. Let's go. The Lord is righteous. He had cut asunder the cause of the wicked. Can you read it again? Can you read it again? Good. Notice cord there is plural. The cords of the wicked. Last month, I told you we're going to start a special program today. And I asked you to bring a picture of when you were young. If possible, when you were a baby. If you don't have it, bring something to represent you when you were young. Very soon, we shall start those microscopic deliverance prayers. On the basis of the picture in your hand. And that is going to run for three power changes because it's a hard ground we want to break. You know that in September, you need to come back with the picture. You need to come back again next one. Three separate series to complete the destruction of what the enemy had done. The Bible says, For this cause was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. I'm praying for somebody here. All the completed works of the enemy in your life shall be destroyed today. In the name of Jesus. Let your voice be loud like thunder. The Bible talks about cords of the wicked. Those are the cords that God will break here today. As many people as are ready, the fact that you have presented yourself for this special service. The Lord said, I should tell you that this time for your uncommon testimony has come. And those powers that are saying you will not sing your song and dance your dance shall be disgraced. And your season of unexpected acceleration and promotion has arrived. In a nutshell, what are cords of wickedness? What do we mean by the cords of the wicked? We mean the satanic ropes the enemy uses to tie down a person to one spot. Hey, you cannot leave this place. It's like the rope at the neck of a cow or a goat attached to a tree. That rope is a cord limiting the movement of the animal. What are the cords of the wicked? It's the instrument the enemy uses to tie a man to himself or to his kingdom. A problem he gives to a person that will always drag you to their kingdom. What are the cause of the wicked? They are the instrument of, this is how far you can go. You cannot go for that. It's an instrument to prevent a man from going into greener pastures. It's a satanic glue to an evil bus stop. A weapon of arrest by satanic policemen. A spiritual rope of limitation. It's an evil pipe supplying evil current into a person's life. It is a connection that demotes and suppresses. It is a rope that ties a person to an evil foundation. Therefore, it does not matter where you roam. You may travel out of Nigeria. You may go to anywhere in the world. There are plenty of people who have left their country to go to other countries. 
not knowing that there is a rope on their waist tied to a tree in their place of birth. And so they really cannot, they, they thought they are gone far, but they are not really far. What are the cause of the wicked? It's a yoke that holds a man in bondage. It is a connection link that brings in the enemy. Those are the cords. Cords. This is why some people are always dreaming of going back to their village, going back to where they were born, going back to some specific places. There is an invisible rope tying you down to those places. I'm praying for somebody here today. Every cord of darkness that says you will not move forward before you depart from this holy ground, they shall catch fire. In the name of Jesus, light your Emma Rua Alexander. In the school of deliverance, there are 25 major wicked cords. 25 major wicked cords. One, tribal cords. Tribal cords. Two, marriage cords. To be explaining them, we waste our time today. But many people have been tied to the spirit of their tribe. Marriage cords. Many people have been tied to the wrong place. There is occultic oaths. There is blood covenant cords. There are evil names cords. That your name may be what is tying you to the evil rope. There is place of birth cords. There is geographical environment cords. There is witchcraft cords. There is familiar spirit cords. You may not know that you are part of them. Or you can be an unconscious one. There is sexual relationship cords. There is religious cords. There is a cord of evil consumption. You have eaten what you should not eat. Eaten what you should not eat. It's like that man that entered into 16 cults in this country. The time he now gave his life to Jesus and came for deliverance. At the deliverance ground, beloved, he vomited about nine birds. But he had forgotten that he swallowed ten. He vomited nine. There was still one inside. Which he didn't know. The one that was inside. Anytime prayers are said, that bird will be biting his intestine. And it almost destroyed his intestine. I'm praying for somebody here. Any material you have eaten or swallowed that the enemy is now using against your future, wherever they are, I command them to evaporate. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. There is a card of evil spiritual consultation. Any witch doctor, any magician, any sorcerer, any diviner you, you visit, you have a card tied to them. There is a card of wicked friends. There is a card of social relationship. There is a card of spiritual relationships. Close and distant relatives. There is a card of pastors who are fake. There's a card of curses. And they've cursed a person. He's working against the person. Then there are personal curves that you could form for yourself. Then there is the umbilical cord. When we talk about spiritual cords, as far as delivery of children is concerned, that cord is the link between the mother and the baby in the womb. The tragedy comes when the devil takes that physical cord and converts it to a pipe transferring evil river into the baby. The physical role the cord plays is same. It's the same thing in the spiritual realm, if not even greater. So even in the physical body, a defective cord, an infected cord will affect the baby. Therefore, beloved, like we said last month, the major problems that most people face on earth originated from the womb. If you don't know about any cord at all, that particular cord, everybody understands it. The umbilical cord ties you and connects you to your parents. And if that parent is polluted, if you are in your mother's womb and don't deceive yourself, 
You spent nine months in that womb, you are already a witch yourself. Your womb may be unconscious. You need to receive deliverance from these things. This in a nutshell is why we are talking about this today. The enemy takes that physical umbilical cord, then converts it to his own instruments, using it to destroy lives, using it to cause trouble, using it to plant evil things into people's lives, utilizing our times of ignorance to cause serious problems for people. I'm praying that today, any problem you are facing that was transferred to you from your parents, me that your amen is too weak. Can you shout it louder than that? So today, we have these special prayers to pray. There is one you are going to pray by yourself. There is one that I'm going to pray with you as a result of this kind of message. But if you want to prosper in this kind of prayer meeting and you want Jesus to walk back into, your, into the womb of your mother, because the Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus can rewind, he can fast forward. So, once you rewind, you pray a rewinding prayer. Jesus walks back into that foundation. Looks at it again from the beginning. And like a, like a very careful farmer, begins to remove the weed that had been eaten there. You want to prosper in this kind of prayer meeting? You need to surrender your life to Jesus first. If you don't do that, you are wasting time. After you surrender your life to Jesus, it is then you can begin to pray the foundational deep deliverance prayers. It is then you can connect to the armor of foundation open. Rise up on your feet, beloved. Rise up on your feet now. We have plenty of work to do here today. And I'm praying for somebody. And every cut the enemy is using to tie you down shall break today in the name of Jesus. Every hidden cord that the enemy is operating that cord shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. <laughs> but you see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Don't waste time. Just run quickly to the altar here, or any of the two altars at the back, so that you can be a part of today's blessings. So, leave your seat and come to the front here very quickly. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Leave your seat and come to the front very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here.
those of you at the altars, I must congratulate you for a wonderful day like this. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just close your eyes and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. I know that you died for me. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray, oh Lord, that you will pull them by your power. The decisions they've taken today shall be permanent in their life. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion shall be your rock and your shield. He will write your name in the book of life. And today that you have surrendered your life to Jesus, your life will no longer remain the same. In Jesus' name we pray. The rest of us, let's close our eyes, bow down our head, and talk to the Lord like this. Any sin that will allow any dark cut to remain in my life, Father, forgive me now in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive me now in the name of Jesus. Spirit divine, our tender prayer and make us thy home. Descend with all thy gracious power. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, as the light to us reveal the truth. up on a field place right there where you are take a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the king of kings and the lord of lords
Any song of praises? sister over there that the covenant you have with familiar spirit to die this year that covenant is broken in the name of Jesus every leg that the enemy has afflicted receive your deliverance now Every power of arthritis, I cancel your power now. Every internal rottenness, I cancel your power now. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. We are going to use that hand for two functions. Stretch it towards this altar. If you are watching us anywhere, stretch your hands towards the screen. Father, in the name of Jesus. These hands that are stretched forward here, let the power of the Holy Ghost flow into these hands in the name of Jesus. Let this arm become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance, the hands of power. In the name of Jesus, lay that hand on your head to start with. You will shout this prayer loud and clear. Please don't negotiate with the enemy. Say, arrows of darkness fired into my head. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Deal with that arrow now. But put a certain decay abushanda. Yes, backfire. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hand down from the head. Now shake the head. Shake it vigorously. That's right. That's right, shaking it. The strangulating powers that have been shaken off. Shake it. Yes. The yoke of circular problems is broken. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Get us up ready again. If you have any infirmity in your body, it says, smite the enemy and the enemy shall flee. This is the time to smite the place. Don't feel sorry for the place. Smite it. And the infirmity shall vanish. You are going to smite it 21 times. And as I smiting it, you'll be shouting, Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Let your voice roar like thunder. As you did 21 times. Are you ready now? Go! Smite it. Aha. Makatari mm Satya. -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Look at what is happening now. Amen. Silence. Check your body now. Do whatever things you cannot do before you got here. Begin to practice it. If you cannot walk, begin to walk. If you cannot see, begin to see. If you cannot hear, begin to hear. Check your body now. Take that swollen place in your body. Check it very well. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Look at what is happening over there. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Say powers assigned to waste my destiny. Can your voice be louder than that? Duh! In the name of Jesus. Jesus. My destiny shall not be wasted. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. That's good. Now say voices of witchcraft. Circulating my name. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Silence the evil voices. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Suppressing my promotion. Can you say that again? You are a liar. Da! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray stretch your two hands towards me at the altar here father I'm praying that all the hands that are stretched forward here blessings that money cannot buy blessings that have been stolen from you from birth blessings the enemy has been struggling with you for within the next 10 days repossess them repossess them we possess them. 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 
repossess them, repossess them, repossess them, repossess them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A sevenfold man. Thank you, Jesus. Close your eyes on your seat. I sing this song loud and clear after me. Sing from your heart as you go into this session. Sing from your heart to the Lord. Glory be to the name of Jehovah. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, hallelujah, who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, hallelujah, who Sing it again loud and clear. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Worthy, what the Lord apart for thou was created all things are for thy pleasure. They are, I Bring out the picture now. You will lay your right hand on your picture and make these pronouncements after me with your eyes closed. Make sure your voice roars like thunder. Say, Powers planted in my childhood. To trouble my future. Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord will cause dryness to come upon you. I dry up your river. Even as Jordan was dried up. I dry up your roots. Even as the Lord dried the fig tree. I knock down your gates. I break in pieces your gates of brass. I cut in sunder the bars of iron. You powers planted in my childhood to trouble my future. I break down your walls. Even as the wall of Jericho was broken down. I bind up every strong man over my childhood I bind you and I cast you out now in the name of Jesus a seven fold man you powers planted in my childhood to trouble my future I cut off your cords. I cast them away. I break all curses or iniquity coming down my family line. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the spiritual embargo on my father's side. 
I destroyed the spiritual embargo on my mother's side. In the name of Jesus, you powers planted in my childhood to pollute my future. I command you to bend your knees to Jesus. I put a hook in your nose. I put a cord around your tongue. In the name of Jesus, I take away your throne. In the name of Jesus, any dark covenant with my place of birth, with my condition of birth, with those who delivered me as a baby, Jesus, any problem that came into my life through the blood of my parents, through anything I've swallowed, through witchcraft and polygamy, through agent of darkness, through satanic naming ceremony, through placenta bondage, today is your burial day. In the name of Jesus, every yoke buried inside the foundation of my life break by fire. In the name of Jesus, any problem buried in my childhood to pollute my present life before I leave this place today, die. In the name of Jesus, every plantation of darkness, trouble my star, roast by fire. In the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen. Stretch that picture towards this altar now. Makapota li karebo sanda. Ribo pia li katende kende. Father, every decree that your children have uttered here, let it become testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Every manipulation, every dedication, every consecration that is satanic in nature, in the foundation of anyone here, in the childhood of anyone here, we hold this picture, which is our image, and we use this as a point of contact for you, Lord Jesus, to walk back into our childhood. And anything that needs to be buried, bury them now. Anything that needs to burn, burn them now. Anything that needs to be killed, kill them now. In the name of Jesus. A seven for the man. A seven for hallelujah. That's right. Seven for blood of Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now listen carefully. This prayer you have done here today. Let me tell you what you will begin to experience. Number one, those things that have been stolen from you shall be mysteriously returned. <laughs> Number two, what you have been finding very difficult to achieve, you will easily achieve it.
Number three, where they have closed good gates against you, those gates shall open up their own accord. Number four, the enemies that are riding on the horse of your destiny, they push you away from the horse of your destiny and they are now riding on it. Those enemies shall some assaults. And you shall ride the horse of your destiny. Number five, the kind of wealth that nobody has ever experienced in your family shall begin to bombard your life. Number six, what they have been saying is not possible for you again. It's not possible. It will begin to become possible. And finally, number seven, you shall begin to laugh your enemies to scorn. Jesus. This is August, September, Palm of St. John's. Bring that picture back. We go into our stage two. October, Palm of St. John's. Bring that picture back. Then we go to the final session. But this short one we have done now, there will be awesome, unbelievable testimonies. Light your amen, Rua, like thunder. Bring out your prayer letter now and rise up on your feet. Father, we thank you for all those who are celebrating their birthday and their wedding anniversary in this August. I pray, O oh Lord, that you bless as you are celebrating your birthday this month. If Jesus starts in his coming, by this time next year, you become a bigger bundle of testimony. The Lord will keep you standing by his power. And no weapon from against you shall prosper. Father, the prayer letter written here, answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Every point we have recorded here, let them become points of testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Listen to this warning. Warning. Please. Don't allow anyone to provoke you to anger as we're praying these prayers so that the enemy King of my life, I crown thee now, then shall the glory. By the grace of God, we are starting a new series of very powerful teachings. These are the last days, and we need to be able to identify all the operations of the enemy within and without and deal with them. So for the next few months, directly ending at the time we are going to start our 70 days prayer and fasting, we are going to be looking at a general theme called witchcraft in the church. And we're going to be dealing with these various aspects of this topic. So what I want to do tonight is just to give you a general introduction. Then various lecturers will come and deal with it. If you take the hand out of your hand, you'll see the memory verse. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 to 23. Let us read this memory verse slowly together. 
Let's go. And Samuel said, And the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. That is the memory verse. This particular memory verse was taught to someone like me when I was very small at our children's Sunday school in those days. That obedience is better than sacrifice and hackening than the fat of rams. And that rebellion is the same thing as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is the same thing as idolatry. And this was what dealt with Saul in the Bible. Look at the introduction in your handout. As we approach the close of the age, we see that many terrible things have found their ways into the church. Unless an acidic surgery is carried out to cut off these things, the present generation may not witness a revival. Amongst other things like seduction, worldliness, backsliding, falsehood, merchandising, witchcraft has taken over many congregations. The purpose of the current study is to identify, isolate, expose, and radically banish witchcraft from our midst. And that leads us directly to the first major question, which you see very clearly in your under. What is witchcraft? From the hand out to your hand, you see various definitions. The reason those definitions are there is for you to know that witchcraft is more complicated than what we think. It's not as simple as some people think. Witchcraft is a highly organized demonic entity that covers so many aspects of human life. Witchcraft started right back in the Garden of Eden when God told Adam, Thou shalt not. And he disobeyed. Immediately Adam, Adam disobeyed, he went into witchcraft. You can see various definitions there. Witchcraft is conference with the devil to carry out wicked acts. Anytime you cooperate with an evil voice in your life to go and do something bad, you're a witch. The person becomes a witch entirely. Witchcraft is the use of evil power to undo or subdue another. Witchcraft is the use of satanic weapons to cause evil to others. Witchcraft is the summoning of evil powers to carry out evil assignments. Witchcraft is counterfeit spiritual authority. Witchcraft is wanting to be spiritual without submitting to God or regarding his words. Any spiritual power that a man gets outside the Bible, outside the Holy Spirit, outside the Word of God is witchcraft. Something is wrong somewhere when there is a resident power in you that is achieving something and that power is not derived from God. A woman said, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anywhere I go, men are just falling over and dying for me is witchcraft, but another version of it, because it's definitely not the Holy Spirit, that one. Witchcraft is assessing wicked powers from the earth and from the heavenlies. Witchcraft is moving in the realm of the spirit without the Holy Spirit. Anybody who prophesies without the anointing, you begin to speak as if God is speaking to you when nothing is talking to you. It is witchcraft. Witchcraft is domination, manipulation, and control using any spirit different from the Holy Spirit. Witchcraft is the coordinating center of the operations of the devil to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Witchcraft is an intercourse with evil spirits to carry out wicked desire. Witchcraft is the use of everything in devil's armory to destroy the chance of a human being fulfilling his divine destiny. Witchcraft is the existence of supernatural powers by possessed persons in league with the devil or evil spirits. Witchcraft is the practice of magic, sorcery, or wizardry. 
Witchcraft is the act of causing continuous, relentless torment, oppression, dullness of the mind through the use of satanic instruments. Witchcraft is the highest point in satanic programs. Witchcraft means to bend. I purposely went through those definitions with you one by one so that you can know that witchcraft is a terrible thing. Witchcraft is when a person is doing Satan's will. And anywhere you go in the world, as you go from one geographical location to the other, you find the spirit of witchcraft operating, but it is in a different format in every area. The devil has repackaged that witchcraft to suit the taste of man. You go to the Arab world, they have their own version of witchcraft. You go to the black world, you find their own version. You go to the white man's country, you find their own version. Many times in this country, they will fi we find people stoning witches outside who were confessing. And this is a very serious matter. And therefore, the Bible goes into some serious issues. And the Bible is very aggressive anytime the issue of witchcraft is mentioned. So the Bible doesn't take it easy at all with any little dot of witchcraft particle in any area. And therefore you find those scriptures written down there which you should read when you get home. But there are two of them we must not fail to read here. They are saying essentially the same thing. In Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. Leviticus 20, 27. What does this say? Leviticus 20, 27. A man also a woman that hath a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to what? Death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. There are very, very few things in the Bible where the Bible will talk about death sentence. Witchcraft is one of those few. So God has passed both physical and spiritual death sentence on all forms of witchcraft. In Exodus chapter 22, verse 18, Exodus 22, 18, a scripture we all know, Exodus 22:18 says, Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. Don't let them remain. Because they are remaining is problem. And they will cause trouble. That's why we have these terrible facts about witchcraft. That witchcraft is more complicated than we think. And many good people are being controlled and manipulated by it. Many are battling with witchcraft right now, but they don't know what is happening to them. Others know that witchcraft is attacking them, but they do not know how to break free. Many nations are having problems now because they are receiving witchcraft powers that were once buried by the missionaries. And witchcraft is so serious and terrible now that it's a, it has infiltrated churches, schools, love relationships, entertainment, drama, recreation, television, movies, medicine, government, law, business, it has penetrated all this. In fact, from the names given to some products, you will know that this is witchcraft. And a lot of modern men are suffering from this kind of trouble. Many years ago, one of my friends, an evangelist, was sent to a church to go and minister. It was a very strange message the Lord sent him. The Lord said he should go and hold a seven days revival in that church. And that he has only one message the seven days. That you should go to the pulpit, pray the opening prayer, and say this single sentence. So all you witches in this church, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord said, you have been doing your own thing, so he will start his own very soon. Rise up and let us pray. That was the sermon. Day one, day two, day three. He comes to the pulpit, and that's all he said. On second to the last day, people were coming for counseling. 
Then one woman came for counseling. She was the church mother. She was vibrating. And said, man of God, pray for me. That there is a bone of a child stuck in her throat. And that the man of God should pray for her. Man of God said, have I not been warning you here? There is no prayer. You must die. And more people followed. Who were into this kind of thing. But they were hiding under the cover of religion. If you are here tonight. And you are into witchcraft, familiar suite and all those things. I have an information for you. You are wasting your destiny. And the earlier you jump out and run to Jesus. The better for you. The devil has no good plan for your life. Or what good plan is it when the devil has a mother to kill her only child? Why should you want to kill those who will look after you when you are old? So if you are here, you are under that category. You better repent very quickly and run to Jesus. Witchcraft is a terrible, terrible thing. And uh, if you look at your Bible very well, you find that there are different categories of witchcraft. Look at it in your under different kinds of witchcraft. Number one kind of witchcraft is witchcraft by evil powers. What do you mean by witchcraft by evil powers? I mean, th these are those who have strange powers who go to meetings at night, fly to witchcraft covens, and destroy lives. This is witchcraft by evil powers. And under witchcraft by evil powers, there are four categories. There is inherited witchcraft. There is witchcraft by decision. There is witchcraft by force. There is blind witchcraft. The, the person is into witchcraft and the person does not know. You say, man of God, is it possible to be a witch without knowing? Oh, yes. You can be anything without knowing if the enemy blocks your spiritual monitor. The people I feel sorry for most are those who are into forced witchcraft. They are not interested. They don't want to belong. But a strange power has gripped them. And the strange power is saying, you are one of us whether you like it or not. And this is usually the situation when somebody is very careless. You eat anywhere at any time. You take food from this, take food from that. And they give you witchcraft food and you get initiated. Somebody is licking sweet and you ask him to break the sweet into two and throw it into your mouth. You now realize that after licking that sweet, you keep finding yourself in a strange place in your dream. And you don't want to go there. You don't like it. You keep finding yourself there. I feel sorry for such people a lot. There are some who are witches and they know they are witches and they know they are wicked and they want to be wicked. That is one category. The second category where there are many, many candidates and members is witchcraft as works of the flesh. Which you find in Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 20. The scripture is already written out in your hand out there. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, tribe, seditions, heresies. There is witchcraft as evil power. There is witchcraft as work of the flesh. And this is where many, many people belong. This is where that scripture now comes in. That rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is like idolatry. To be stubborn is to refuse to take instructions. To be stubborn is to be rigid. To be stubborn is to wish to have one's way all the time. To rebel now is not only to refuse instruction as in stubbornness, but to rebel means to actively oppose the authority behind the instruction of us that was given. Rebellion says, I will not do it. Stubbornness says, 
I will do it my way. I will do it my way. You reject the authority behind that instruction. So what are we now saying? We see that one does not have to belong to a coven to be a witch. One does not have to fly at night to go through conscious and unconscious process of witchcraft initiation in order to qualify as a witch. A rebellious child is a witch. A rebellion and stubborn wife is also a witch. A rebellious and stubborn husband is a witch. And herein lies a serious problem. Right now, there is a growing consciousness against the satanic forces of witchcraft in the house of God. A lot of Christians seem very conscious and cautious about witches and their activities. But the tragedy is this, beloved. Many of us who are looking so often for witches outside the church, we do not realize anything about witchcraft inside the church. Many of the so-called witch-hunting ministers and witch-hunting pastors are witches and wizards themselves. It is frightening to know that many Christian gardens are gardens of witches and wizards. Many years ago, we prayed our hearts out for somebody here. And God delivered her at that time. Then she ran away from Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries because she said all the women are looking dull. And she wanted to look bright. By the time she would come back here, she had received terrible injury in the church she went to. They made her the chair lady of one women's league, league association. There were 36 members in that group. In the whole of that group, this woman was the only one who was not a witch. But she was the chair woman. Trouble started in her life. The first son died. The second daughter died. Then she too became sick. Was at that level, she ran back. What? Madam, you are back? Say yes. When I saw her, she couldn't know whether there was lipstick anywhere again. Beloved, it is when there is no problem, you are talking about painting your lips. She said, Man of God, pray. I said, No, you take this prayer and begin to pray. She started praying. The way she was praying here before she left, as she was praying, God opened her eyes. And she found herself inside that same church on the day of their last anniversary. Normally, as the chair lady, she's the one who will carry a big porcelain plate with money inside and will be dancing forward. All the other groups will be dancing after her. What a wonder. A woman is carrying a plate of money and dancing, and there are 35 witches dancing after her. And they were singing, Mommy Johnson, it is your time to shine. It is your time to shine. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time to shine. That's what they were thinking after. In real life. But when God opened her eyes in that vision, what she was hearing was this. Mommy Johnson, it is your time to fly. She said, yeah. So this is what you were saying. Beloved, it is a tragedy if you get to the gate of the kingdom of God. You appear outside the gates of paradise and you say, I want to get in here. You say, no, you can't enter this gate. So what's, what's the reason? You say, because you're a witch. So I say, no, I, no, I, I'm from a Bible believing church. I did deliverance. I'm from a Bible believing church. I did deliverance. I don't fly at night. I don't drink people's blood. Are you calling me a witch? No. Rebellion is as the sin of God. God put a rebellious person in the same category as witches and wizards. A lot of people are in this category without knowing. Simply because rebellion is the same category, the same thing as the sin of witchcraft. A lot of us need to, first of all, pray fire prayers against the witch in us. So that, that when that witch in us dies and rebellion to the Almighty becomes zero, then we can move and climb higher into our destiny. Beloved, this is what we are saying, which you should understand very well now. Witchcraft 
in the two forms that we have mentioned, evil powers, works of the flesh, has penetrated practically all churches. It has, it has penetrated. Now, there are many churches who don't pray at all. I feel sorry for them. There are some churches who don't even believe that you need deliverance. I feel sorry for them. Because what will happen is that eventually witchcraft will take over the control of that church. They take control of that church and they will control the place. When witchcraft as works of the flesh has reached a maximum capacity in a church of God, then witchcraft as evil power finds it so difficult to finish up people as praise. Unfortunately, many born-again Christians are practitioners of this kind of witchcraft. I know that many of you here don't know my daddy. Many, many years ago, they invited him to come and preach at a harvest, church harvest. He didn't know that the purpose of harvest is to collect money. He thought the purpose was to tell the truth. He prepared himself seriously with prayer and with fasting and everything. They brought a vehicle to come and pick him to the church. He got to the pulpit. He read a passage from Sephaniah, which says, The day of the Lord is coming, and the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Five minutes into the message, the general overseer ordered that he should be picked up from the pulpit and thrown out. They pulled his coat from behind and threw him outside. So what? We are here to collect money. What do you mean by the mighty man shall cry there bitterly? Witchcraft in the house of God. The sad part is this, which is very, very sad. When somebody is internally stubborn, the stubbornness may not show on the outside. When somebody is rebellious to God inside, the rebellion may not even show in the house of God. For example, if God wakes you up at night, say, daughter, begin to pray. But you refuse to do the prayer. You slept. It's rebellion. You're already a witch. And immediately a person lives in rebellion. Death is already at work. Because death sentence had been passed on witches and wizards in the Bible. In many of such Christians, the death works more slowly than the others. They will be dying quietly and softly. You find some of these believers, they are just losing weight and melting away, and you don't know what is wrong with them. Others are attacked by incurable and strange disease, and they die suddenly. Others do not look sick, but the death is already at work in their bodies. Some of these holy and Pentecostal witches have died suddenly and we have wondered, how can this happen to a prayer warrior? How can this happen to a prayer warrior? How can this happen to a powerful evangelist? How can this happen to this lady evangelist? How can this happen to this powerful man of God? But when the powerful man of God was anointing women's breasts, you didn't know at that time. When he was putting his hands into strange places in people's bodies, you didn't know at that time. When he was collecting strange money, you didn't know at that time. Many of us will not know that there have been witches and wizards for years, and they will be doing all kinds of things. As a believer, I was in one church one day. I was a young Christian at that time. That day, beloved, I was very scared. Really visibly shaking. Visibly shaking. I was at this powerful early morning prayer meeting. In those days, I didn't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I used to envy and admire those who prophesied, who spoke in tongues, who spoke for God. And when we were in this beautiful morning prayer meeting. All of a sudden, I noticed that the person beside me began to vibrate. And it began to flow in beautiful tongues and gave powerful prophecies. The whole of the building was shaking under that voice. You could feel the anointing in his voice. I said, oh God... How will it be so nice if I'm like this brother? We close the service. I gave the conductor money. After some time, the conductor faced him again and said, where is money? Order. The man said, I've given you the money. The conductor said, you're a thief. You didn't give me anything. The driver, stop, stop. I must throw this man down. All of a sudden, I had, ah, what? Idiot. Nonsense. Rubbish. And he began to tie his fist. And he began to fight. Ah. It was as if watching an angel fighting. I was discouraged and scared. 
that this man that prophesied powerfully like this could degenerate into this. It worried me for many years until I grew in the things of God and I began to learn about disposable vessels, permanent vessels. Began to learn about two spirits in a man. Two spirits are sharing a person for use. I began to learn those things. Then I began to learn about the works of the flesh as witchcraft. I began to learn about bus conductors for the Almighty, the Agbero people. Those who just say, come here, come here, come here, but they won't go themselves. The day I heard that the brother had died, I was shocked. Ordinary malaria. And that was it. We lamented. We wept. But we didn't know that that sentence had already started demolishing him. Demolishing him. Demolishing him. Demolishing him. I want you to understand. Anytime you begin to do things that you yourself know that it's unscriptural. And the Spirit of God within you is protesting that this is bad, this is bad. Anytime you do it, you feel depressed, you feel unhappy, yet you see go and do it. You're already becoming a senior witch. And that sentence will already be at work. And the person will be dying slowly. Slowly, slowly. Even if you have a whole cupboard full of drugs in your house, the moment you swallow the drug, the demons will swallow it too. The moment you swallow your concussion, they will swallow it first. So once somebody begins to disobey God, what you do is that you align yourself with Satan. By choosing to disobey God, a brother or a sister will fit into Satan's plan against God. In several homes, Christian homes, the wives are witches and the husbands are wizards. Why? Because both of them are living in disobedience. The wife is saying, no one is going to control me here. In the name of Bible submission, I cannot submit. And the husband will say, you must submit because I'm the head of this house. And the man that is insisting that they must submit to him does not pray, does not read the Bible, has no work. So there are many wives and husbands who possess all the comforts their hearts desire, but they are dying internally. Because they are already witches as far as heaven is concerned. So there is a redefinition of witchcraft in the Bible. Some of these people, they have cooks, they have stewards, they eat the best food. They visit the best pedicure, manicure, and beauty saloon, but they are still dying inside. It's because death is already at work in them. Because they are, they are witches. We have Pentecostal witches. Plenty and plenty of them. We will say, does say the Lord when the Lord says not. We have the prophesying witches. We have the tongue-talking witches. We have the ordained witches. We have the quarry study witches. We have the usher witches. We have the Sunday school witches rebellious people. We have Reverend and Mrs. Witch and Wizard and Pastor, Pastor Wizard. Because in their disobedience to God's demand of righteousness, they have become wizards. The sons of Eli were killed by God because they aligned themselves against God in disobedience. And they became wizard priests. And since witches and wizards should not be suffered to live, God killed them all in one day, including their father. All pastors, prophets, and ministers sleeping with counselors are wizards, and God shall kill them. There are so many sisters who are quick to see witchcraft in other people. And all they fall down and die prayer, they are praying against witchcraft. If God should bother to answer that prayer, they will be the first person to fall down. Because they have refused to repent. Go back to your hand, that beloved. The hand that talks about the weapons of witchcraft used in the church. These are manipulative powers that you can know that this is witchcraft operation. Fake prophecies. Soulish prayers. Prayers that have no scripture meaning. Fake visions. That the Lord showed me when the Lord did not show anything. Negative dreams. There are some people they are always dreaming negative. Always dreaming negative. Negative. Negative dreams. Fake trances, offering manipulation. I want ten people to give me one million naira. Nobody stood up. Okay, ten people to give me fifty thousand. Nobody stood up. So now where I'm standing now, the Lord said, if some ten persons here do not quickly rush one thousand naira to the front, they shall die within seven days. So you find people rushing to the front, offering manipulation. 
A friend of mine invited a minister to his church in London. He was surprised when the man, instead of preaching his message, brought out his briefcase, opened it, brought out many envelopes. And all those envelopes have mark of anointing oil on them. Said, you see this envelope? They said, yes. It has been anointed. If you put 200 pounds inside this envelope and you bring it back to me, the Lord will multiply it hundred ways. Those who need the envelope now, before I start my message, let them come forward. People rush forward and they were collecting it. They were collecting it and putting money. Everything was going on well until somebody saw a person who owed him 50 pounds and has not paid for six months. He's now putting 200 pounds inside the envelope and he wanted to go and submit it. He dived at the envelope in his hand and the struggle started. It's witchcraft. Witchcraft manipulation. Seven. You have stage managed miracles. Somebody came to this council room and said, I should pray that God should forgive him. He gave a testimony which was widely published in Christianity. In fact, the testimony was published in some Christian magazines. Later, he came to me in this council room here and said, Man of God, pray that God should forgive me. So because the pastor of that church gave me 25,000 naira and asked me to say those things. It's witchcraft. Anointing oil manipulation. There's plenty of manipulation in that area now. People are selling prayer oil. Number nine, manipulation of spiritual gifts. Fake word of wisdom, fake word of knowledge, fake prophecies, fake tongues. It's all witchcraft. Domination. Just wanting to dominate others. It's witchcraft. Intimidation. Trying to scare people into doing your own way. Control. Fear. Prophetic divination. Sacrifices and rituals. Holy water, holy perfumes. Singing and dancing in order to seduce people. Satanic healing. Lying and deception. Splitting the church of God. Any pastor you see splitting a church of God has a curse hanging upon his head. And that curse goes into generational lines. If a pastor is not happy in a church, all he needs to do is to resign, carry his Bible, and leave. When a pastor comes to the pulpit and grabs the microphone, and says, Oh, oh are you members of this congregation? This is what our general officer have done. <laughs> and immediately they start that kind of crying. Immediately, yeah, started crying like that. Of course, the church members who start crying. Then because of that, I'm starting my own church next Sunday. It's witchcraft. Such churches don't prosper. Seduction. Rebellious and stubborn attitude. Excessive control, threats, violation of rules, refusal to submit to authority, refusal to submit to God's authority, finding fault in pastors, church leaders, and church policies. When you set up yourself as a referee to the church and to the word of God, you are the one who you criticize this, you criticize that, you criticize everything. You are a witch. Using prophecy to control, manipulate, or impose his will on other people. When you are agreeing with members who are complaining of church authority, it's witchcraft. Questions that undermines and finally judges authority is rebellion. When a person is rebelling against parental authority, it's witchcraft. When you are promoting mixed spirits in the church, it is witchcraft. There's a lot of people who come to Mountain of Fire. You see, being a member of Mountain of Fire should mean that you are as bold as lion. Bold as lion. Sometimes someone will say, pray with your neighbor. Pray with this. Pray with that. No, the people are afraid. I, say, I don't know the person they say I should pray with. I don't know now. That's your fear. It's witchcraft. And you should understand that one very soon. It is this kind of spirit that leads to lack of love, hatred, and this witchcraft of the highest order. If 
you are where God wants you to be. If we shake the arms of a witch, it is that witch that should have a problem, not you. If you shake the hand of a witch or, or a witch shakes your hand or touches you and you have problem, then you yourself, you are a witch. It means there is something in you that welcomes witchcraft. Jesus said, the prince of this world commented unto me, he findeth nothing in me. But if there is a witch in you, of course it's a magnetize the outside one. One pastor friend of mine prayed for somebody. He said, as he laid his hands on top of the head of this person and was praying, he noticed that something was crawling from the head of the person to his hand. And the thing moved to his hand and went to his shoulder. And by that time he had finished the prayers. And the man was going away. He said, Thank you, sir. He now noticed that the thing that entered his hand was vibrating like a living organism. So what did he do? He called back the cancer. Come, 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 come. Kneel down. Let us pray again. So he laid the hands back on his head. Mary said, back to, the back to the center, back to the center, back to the center, back to the center, back to the center. So when he told me this, I said, Pastor, you have a problem. The fact that that thing could get in and it's already going inside your body. It shows there is something in the body of that person which is also in your own body. That is nutrient, food for that thing to eat in your body. That's why the thing is going inside. But if the thing means an iron block in your hand, it won't bother to climb up your hand. Beloved, I want you to understand this. The very serious matter, witchcraft in the house of God. 35, trying to use money to control what is preached from the pulpit. It's witchcraft. Trying to destroy the anointing through sexual perversion. It's witchcraft. Unteachableness. Hatred for correction. Suspicion. Persistent confusion. All repentant gossip and slander. If you are a gossiper and you slander people, you are a witch. Judgmental attitudes. Instigating action to go ahead or say or do things on their behalf and then they hide in the background as though they are totally innocent. They will talk to A, they will talk to B, talk to C, wind them up. Then when the thing comes to the light, they will hide in the background. And you will know it was the one that caused the trouble. It's witchcraft. If witchcraft is not dealt with in the church of God, it will lead to serious demonization, spiritual dryness and loneliness. It will lead to curses of every kind. It will lead to untimely death. It will lead to confusion and every evil work. It will lead to deception and it will create hell-bound membership. There are people who wear the latest suits. They use the right perfume. They wear powerful ties. They have a holy heart that sits on their religious head on Sundays. Their clothes are well dry clean and stashed. But who are dying inside because of rebellion. I know many people who will smash your head with prayer thunder if you say you're a witch. But many of them are insubordinate, rebellious, and arrogant. They are too sophisticated to reference those who are in authority over them. You need to talk to yourself and address your own life. Let's rise up on our feet. The first prayer I want you to pray is for yourself. Lay your hands on your chest. Immediately, Adam went into rebellion to God. Adam started another religion, which is witchcraft. Are you here tonight? There are things you are doing, and God has been telling you, this is wrong. Your heart is telling you, this is wrong. Even each time you do it, the peace of God leaves your heart. And you have not stopped. You are a witch. I say witch in you. That's your fiancé or the person you call boyfriend or girlfriend. Both of you might have become witches or wizards now. Because of rebellion to God. You will open your mouth like fire and like thunder. And you pray this one prayer point louder than anyone around you. Every rebellion in my heart. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, let every power of rebellion in the heart be destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, beloved. I want you to pray this one even harder than that last one. Saul started his journey as a prophet. He ended it in open witchcraft. The prophet of yesterday became the consultor of witchcraft today. His prophecy and prophetic anointing became history while he was still living. This is a serious matter. Anything in my life making me an easy target for the enemy. Can I hear the sisters who are here shouting this loud and clear? Brothers, can you shout it louder than the sisters? Everybody together. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. You and fire. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not harvest my life. Can you say this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, you will not harvest my life. In Jesus. Name you pray. I fire back. Every arrow of backsliding. In the name of Jesus. Fire it back. Every arrow of backsliding. Fire back every arrow of backsliding in the name of Jesus. Masa Tikaribo Santon de Kayaba. I fire back every arrow backsliding. I refuse the backslide. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A loud amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we praise your holy name for your mighty, wonder-working power. We thank you because with you, nothing is impossible. Thank you for the yoke-breaking power in the blood of Jesus. And thank you for the anointing that breaketh every yoke. Thank you for your love, your care, your power, and your might. Thank you for being our nail in the sure place. Thank you because it is written. Behold, I lay a rock in Zion. A rock of offense. And if that rock collides of anyone, it will grind the person to powder. We we'll give you praise, O Lord. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, visit us. Open our understanding. As many people as are here in this service and are, are crying to you for one thing or the other. Oh God that answered by fire. Answer by fire in the name of Jesus. And any power 
pushing anyone to the wall. Any part that has boxed anyone to a corner by the power that establishes the heavens and the earth. By the power that divided the Red Sea. Let those powers lose their powers now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that the blood of Jesus will completely overshadow this place. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. Ten great prayers when in trouble. Ten great prayers when in trouble. Ten great prayers when in trouble. A time comes in a person's life when you're the most desperate need of your life is for God to answer your prayers. A time comes in somebody's life when you need a connection from heaven as fast as you can get it. A time comes in somebody's life that you either have a divine intervention or you are embarrassed. In Psalm 50, verse 15. Psalm 50, verse 15. Some awesome things are going to happen here this morning. Psalm 50, verse 15. If you are there, please say yes. Because it's important that you understand what we are saying here this morning. Psalm 50, verse 15. It says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. And there is a glorious promise. I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. If you find verse 15 of chapter 50, can you read it loud? Can you read it again loud and clear? Shout it again loud and clear. Everybody has a problem. Everybody has a problem. If they don't have a problem, maybe it's a problem himself. Or he has to live with a problem. Everyone has troubles. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. That is, the righteous has troubles. You cannot travel the road of life without pitfalls and obstacles. Life is a journey. It's not a hundred meters race. When somebody will say, get on your mark, get set, go. And one minute is over. No. Life is not like that. It's like a journey. 
Trouble affects everyone. Trouble does not discriminate. Trouble does not want to know your age, your creed, your color, whether you are rich or poor, whether you are learned or you are ignorant. Trouble is a stark literate and trouble is very very disrespectful trouble is very disrespectful they say the rich also cry so trouble has no respect for the rich the first time they brought a little girl of 5 years old to me for prayers and they said she has diabetes I was crying this one girl five. The other time they brought another boy of six or seven, they say he has hypertension. I say, how can this small boy have hypertension? How? How? That's why I'm praying with anger for somebody here. That those powers that do not want to see you around shall be terminated by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for somebody here. That battle that has been pursued you since you were a boy or a girl. And right now they are even refusing to let you go. By the time we end this service, they shall be totally disgraced. That amen is very weak. Trouble does not discriminate. Trouble is everybody. Job tells us it's a man that is born of a woman is of few days and it is full of trouble. The day of trouble comes upon every man or woman at some points in their lives. But that trouble is a signal that your life is a threat to some powers. You cannot buy your way out of trouble. That's why the Bible says, freely ye are given, freely ye give. Anywhere you go and somebody is promising to help you buy your way out of trouble is a liar. It's like those people at Oyingo Market. He has a, he has a, a small pot in his hand. And I watched him carefully. He was wearing a ragged shirt. I was wearing bathroom slippers. And I was screaming in the middle of the market. Oh, go in so yere. Oh, go in so yere. Medicine for having a sharp brain. He is selling medicine to give people sharp brain. He has bathroom slippers on. He has a ragged shirt. But yeah, there were people queuing there to buy the medicine to make their children's brain sharper. I pray that foolishness will not kill us in Jesus' name. You cannot buy your way out of trouble. Oh, ah, come and buy an oil. It's five thousand naira, like they are doing now. It's a lie. That oil will carry no power. Come and buy an oil and cash it. It's five thousand naira. It's a lie. So, 
you can't buy your way out of trouble. A trouble-free existence is a fraudulent dream. And this is what we should understand. The Bible knows all this. The Bible knows that troubles and problems are the price you sometimes pay for progress. The only place specially reserved as VIP seat for those without trouble is the cemetery. Sometimes what a man needs to get ahead is a powerful enemy. Your enemy is actually your helper. Your enemy sharpens your sword. Your enemy develops your skills. Your enemy makes you to understand yourself better. Call upon me, he says. Call upon me. In the day of trouble. And I will hear the, I will answer the, and I would and you glorify my name. So trouble and prayer are twin brothers. Because prayer is mostly the voice of men in trouble. Now there are prayers and there are prayers. There are some prayers you can pray and everyone will close down all activities and run to you. There was a prayer a man prayed. And Jesus who was moving, moving away could not move. Jesus had to suspend his activity to attend to that prayer. And there's some prayers Jesus is not even bothered to wait. We want to go into the scriptures now. I want to pick out for you 10 great prayers you can pray. If you keep praying them every day, whether there is trouble or not, you develop immunity and you barricade your life. If it happens that you're already in trouble and you start praying these prayers, there is no way you not get a breakthrough. I see somebody here this morning. The Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to your temple. Prayer number one is in Genesis chapter 32. Verse 26. Genesis 32. Genesis Verse 26. Book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou Bless me. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. This was a prayer of Jacob. 
He was because of this singular prayer point. We now have the name of Jacob as God of Jacob in the Bible. Before that time, Jacob was in a mess. He knew that he was not being blessed. He knew that blessing was far from him. He needed the blessing of God desperately. And one day he had the opportunity. He saw the angel of God passing by. And the battle began. He said, you are not going away. I will not let you go. Except thou bless me. There is a prayer that gets hold of God and refuses to let God go. Moses prayed that kind of prayer before. And God said, Moses, let me go. Let me go. There is a prayer that can hold God and say, God, you are not going. So I will not let thee go except thou bless me. It's a prayer of deliverance and blessing. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Say, my father, I will not let thee go except thou bless me by fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare that is the first prayer makate setende ke yabo shandaraba in Jesus name we pray it was this prayer that Jacob prayed for seven hours from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. One prayer point. The beauty of prayer that you may be praying and it will, look, it will look as if there is no visible answer coming. It's as if those prayers are not doing anything. No. It is because you do not understand the mystery of prayer. Look at this puppet before me here now. If I give you a hammer, I said, demolish this puppet. It's, it's not possible for you to demolish this puppet with one blow. You will do several blows with your armor. Each blow you are giving is weakening the thing. Each blow you are giving is sapping his power. Each blow you are giving is like you put a termite inside. The termite is eating it from the inside. Unfortunately, when some people require just three more blows, or even one more, they give up. And the situation, the enemy says, they have given up, they are giving up. They are giving up, they are giving up. So they quickly reinforce. The thing was made with wood before. The enemy now makes it with iron. So that it will be so, so difficult now to dismantle. That person, listen to me over there. That spirit of discouragement that has been affecting your prayers. I bind it and I cast it out. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold. In the name of Jesus, that is prayer number one. Prayer number two, you find it in Exodus chapter 33. Exodus 33, verse 18. Exodus 33, verse 18. Exodus 
I three eighteen says. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Those of you who came for some Wednesday service some time ago, we discussed the Shekinah glory a lot here. Oh Lord, show me thy glory. It's a prayer of glory. A prayer of, a prayer of glorification. If regularly prayed, anywhere you go, you advertise the glory of God. Is there anybody here today who wants to experience that glory? Because when Moses experienced the glory, he now had to wear a veil. His face shone brightly. We never read anywhere in scripture that says, and Moses was sick. The glory of God will take care of that one. Can I have somebody say, oh Lord, show me thy glory in the name of Jesus. Let your voice roar like thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you following me? How many prayers have you covered now? What is the first one? Can we say it together? What's the second one? Number three. You find that in First Kings chapter three. First Kings chapter 3. These are prayers people have prayed in scripture. Which you can adapt to your life. And get the same results they got. First Kings 3 9. First Kings 3 9. So give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to discern between good and bad. Give unto thy servant an understanding heart to discern between good and evil. An understanding heart to discern between good and evil. This is a prayer for wisdom. A prayer for an understanding heart. Immediately Solomon prayed this prayer. The Bible said the Lord was so impressed. And now give him things that he did not ask for. A prayer that gives rise to to things you do not even ask for. Can you say, Oh Lord, give me an understanding heart to discern between good and evil. When you keep praying that kind of prayer, anywhere you are, you're able to know whether this one is bad, this one is good. This one is telling you lies, this one is telling you truth. You have an understanding heart. You become a man, a woman of wisdom. There are two keys that can get you anything you want in this world. The key of wisdom, the key of power. 
Those two kids will get you anything that you want in this earth. I'm praying for somebody here that the Lord will give you an understanding heart that will mesmerize your enemies and promote your love. Let your amen roar like thunder. I'm trying to be slow this morning because I want you to get his prayers. Because this is not a theoretical, nobody is preaching theoretical sermon to you now. It's something I want you to put down and put it to practice. Start practicing it. Start practicing it. Prayer number four. In First Chronicles chapter four. First Chronicles chapter four. Verse ten. First Chronicles chapter four. Verse ten. A great prayer indeed. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Jabez is Israel. Saying, Weepe. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. And enlarge my coast. That prayer says, Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. It's a prayer of expansion. A prayer of multiplication. A prayer of spreading. A prayer that what is in your hand should grow. A great prayer indeed. Can you shout it and say, Oh Lord! Enlarge my course in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout it loud. Something is happening here this morning as I pray this prayer. Masata Likaterara. In Jesus' name we pray. What is the first prayer? What is number two? What's number three? And what's number four? Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. Oh Lord, enlarge my Coast. Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. It's a great prayer indeed. Great prayer indeed. They say that there are three levels of blessings. God promised to bless the works of your hand. God promised to bless your basket. God promised to bless your storehouse. Three levels. The works of your hand, the basket, the storehouse. The works of your hand there's a limit your two hands can take. Right? Just a little bit that your hands can take. If I decide to put gari or something in your hand now, there's a limit your hand can take. If I decide to put pieces of meat in your two hands, there's a limit those hands can take. But somebody with a basket will collect more than your two hands joined together can collect. 
But then there is a greater blessing. Somebody with a storehouse. So when somebody, your own blessing is just the work of your hands. And you say, oh Lord, enlarge my coast. You can be promoted to the basket level. Basket level, you can feed yourself, feed others, help others. But I say, if you bring a basket here with meat now, you can maybe give to 50 people, 100 people, but you can't feed everybody here. But when it's a storehouse, then you start to bless people. I decree upon the life of somebody here. The God of heaven shall enlarge your coast. In the name of Jesus. Say, so, oh God, Allah! Enlarge my cause! In the name of Jesus! Enlarge my costs. Prayer of expansion. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray that that will be a lot in Jesus' name. Prayer number five. Adura Karun is in Psalm 68, verse 1. Psalm 68 verse 1. Psalm 68 verse 1 says, Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. The fifth prize, oh God arise and let my enemies be scattered. It is a prayer of Dominion. A prayer of dominion. In fact, this is one of the greatest prayers in the whole of the Bible. Because when God arises, those enemies, no matter how strong they are, they have no option but to scatter. And anyone who prays this prayer on a regular basis, no matter what conspiracies are organized against you, they will scatter and fight it out. It is this kind of prayer that makes the enemies to kill themselves. It makes the enemies to fight it out among themselves. I see somebody here this morning. The Lord Jehovah, your God, shall arise. And your enemies shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Prayer number six. It's in 1 Kings chapter 18. Verse 36. First Kings 18 verse 36. First Kings 18 verse 36. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said Lord God of Abraham 
Isaac and of Israel. Let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel. And that I am thy servant. And that I have done all these things of thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me that these people may know that thou art the Lord God. And that thou hast turned their ass back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell. The fire of the Lord fell. Go to verse 24. And call ye on the name of your gods. And I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answered by fire. Let him be God. Let him be God. So the sixth prayer is, O oh God, answer me by fire. Can I have somebody saying that? It is a prayer of victory. And that's why sometimes in Mountain of Fire, you find us adding fire to our prayers. Fire burns. Fire is powerful in movement. Fire has penetrating power. Fire too is mysterious in action. Fire is aggressive and militant. Fire is highly focused. Fire is hot. Fire does not compromise. Fire is very confrontational. Fire has dominion power. Wherever it goes to, it takes over. Fire has no respect. Whether you ask, you ask the fire to burn ants, to burn elephants, to burn cockroaches, no respect. They say whatever goes up must come down. The, the law of gravitation. Fire has no respect for law of gravitation. Fire consumes. Fire melts down. Fire dries up. Fire cooks. Fire can fumigate. Fire can purify. They taught they us in science that matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Fire does not fit into solid. Fire does not fit into gas. Fire does not fit into liquid. It, do, it disobeys the law of matter. That is why when there is a stubborn problem, the answer is fire. So, oh God, that answer it by fire. Answer me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that I want you. The God that answered it by fire. Answer me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer number seven is what you find in Second Kings. Chapter two, verse fourteen. Second Kings, chapter two, verse fourteen. Second Kings two fourteen says this. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters. 
and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he has also smitten the waters, they parted here and there. And Elisha went over. May you have access. May the door open unto you. This seven prayers, where is the Lord God of Elijah? It is a prayer of access. A prayer of access. Prayer to give you access. Prayer when the road is blocked. Prayer when the doors are closed. Where? Is the Lord God of Elijah? And he appeared by fire. What is prayer number one? What's number two? What's number three? What's number four? What's number five? What's number six? And what is number seven? Can you shout that loud? As a prayer of access. Prayer to give you access. Prayer to give you access. Eight. Prayer number 8 is found in Mark chapter 10. Adura kejo o la ori ninu we Mark ori ikewa. Mark 10:47. Iwe Mark ori kewa eseketa dini a adota. These are prayers that got to result. Awon adura ti mu esi wa And they are still as potent as they were. Sibe won ni agbara bi won ti ni ni igbani. Mark 10:47. Iwe Mark ori kewa eseketa dini a Mark chapter 10 verse 47. Iwe Mark ori kewa eseketa dini a adota. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth. Nigba to pa he began to cry out. They didn't say he began to talk. <laughs> Not he began to speak. He began to discuss. No, no. He began to cry out. And said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So the eighth prayer. O son of David, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. A prayer of mercy. When you are guilty completely, there is no other way out. You have to appeal to his mercy. A great prayer indeed. All of us are in need of God's mercy. It's found in Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. Verse 29. Acts chapter 4 verse 29 These are prayers which result that men have prayed before in scripture and in many situations there was instant manifestation Acts chapter 4 verse 29 and now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. By stretching forth thy hand to heal and the signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together. 
and we're all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they speak the word of God with boldness. The night prayer is, Oh Lord, behold their threatenings. It's a prayer of report and petition. Say, Father, look at them. They're threatening me. Say, Lord, behold their threatening. Oh Lord, behold their threatening. Can I have somebody shouting that? Shout it again loud and clear. Shout it with a louder voice. So when you report your enemies to God like this, everyone's take over. The battle from you. Oh Lord, behold their threatening. They pray this prayer in chapter 4. By chapter 9, God already dealt with Saul. Who was threatened and threatened and threatened. And God struck him down, made him blind, and converted him. Your enemies shall plan your celebration. Just like a man who wanted to kill Mordecai was the one that planned his celebration. Your enemy shall plan your celebration. The tenth prayer can be found in John chapter 3. Was eight. I'd explained this to you before. If you want more information, you can get this CD or the tape. John chapter 3, verse 8. The wind blew it where it listed. Thou hearest the sound thereof. But canst now tell when, whence it cometh. And whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Then in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9, 1 Corinthians 4, 9, says this, for I think, that God has set forth us the apostles last as it were appointed to death for we have made we have we have made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men that final that number 10 prayer which is a great prayer indeed is oh lord make me a mysterious wonder a mysterious wonder that is make me just like the wind the wind is mysterious in action when you begin to pray this kind of prayer you become as mysterious as the wind when you begin to pray this prayer when men begin to look down on you it is then you begin to shine when you begin to pray this prayer, when men say that you are finished, this is then you will arise and overshadow them. When you begin to pray this prayer, oh Lord, make me a mysterious wonder. When men say that it is finished for you, it is then your star will spring forth and begin to shine. When you continue to pray this kind of prayer, every exit you becomes an entry point to something better and every loss becomes a gain problem becomes a promotion for you and what others are calling disappointment becomes an appointment for your destiny that is the value of the prayer oh lord 
make me a mysterious wonder. It means that God will lift you beyond explanation. And will usher you into illogical testimonies. And God will now make you a mystery and a wonder. Say, oh God. Make me a mysterious wonder. Say, so, oh God, make me a positive sign. Oh God, make me a divine mystery. Oh God, make me a divine. Oh God, divine phenomenon. In the name of Jesus, say, so, Oh God, Allah, and make me a mysterious wonder. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it now. Make me a mysterious one. Name we pray. Those are the ten great prayers. Look at them very well. Make it something regular. Regular. Even if you are in some kind of challenge now, make it regular. If you want to barricade yourself, make it regular. These are prayers that have brought people results in scripture. And when you want to pray to get results, you pray biblically based prayers. I know that somebody will be here this morning who will cry to the Lord and you get an instant reply. Bow down your heads now. Tell the Lord that whatsoever will hinder you this morning, everyone should write them off with the blood of Jesus. Talk to the Lord now. Amen. I'm going to pray with you first before I begin to ask you to pray. Let your amen be loud and clear as I pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the Father, we thank you for your mighty hand of power and strength. We thank you because men may fail, but you will never fail. As many people as are gathered at this particular prayer meeting today, I pray that any strong man assigned against the life of anyone here, any goal, any strong no matter how strong the strong man is, man is coming from. Let the strong man be buried now. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, power to pray your way to breakthroughs. Receive it now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. As you open your mouth in prayer this morning, let chaos go into the camp of your enemies. 
in the name of Jesus. Aha. You are ready now. Don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow your voice. Plenty of prayers to pray in few minutes. Plenty of prayer to pray in few minutes. You cannot afford to keep quiet. Neither can you afford to be sluggish now. Say, eyes of darkness. Assign to monitor my life. We die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Masati la katanda in Jesus' name we pray. Any power taking my name to the coven. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah. All the wicked in my life. In the name of Jesus, command the wicked to be overthrown. Overthrow them, overthrow them. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Every altar of darkness walking against my moving forward. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the altar of darkness. But sent the back. Jesus' name we pray. So every power challenging my moving forward. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening here this morning. The power of God in the name of Jesus move in Jesus' name. We pray every satanic wind blowing against my prosperity, backfire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God of favor, appear in my life. In the name of Jesus, ask for the favor of God. Appear, 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 appear. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every charm walking against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Set the charms ablaze by the power of the Holy Ghost.
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray silence now you've cried to heavens you have already cried to heavens let there be silence that woman over there your children were initiated into witchcraft in order to divert your destiny but beginning from this morning service the gate of admission of those children into witchcraft has been closed forever That person over there, that a dying person in your family, who's confessing to witchcraft, mentioned that they had destroyed your life. Something is happening to you where you are standing. That which had been destroyed, you have recovered them all. That's, that's the person over there. That's right. Aha. There are some people here this morning. The Lord said the problem is that your virtues have been buried. But right there where they are buried, wherever it is in the world, there is an angel that has been dispatched through the avenue of your prayers to recover those things that have been buried. And it's coming back to you. 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 Makate setenda kaya boshende raba. Every program serpent. Bobo awe do ti won se tore. Serpents in the chest. Awe do ni aya. Serpents in the womb. Awe do ni liomo. Serpents in the backbone. Awe do ni nwe bugu en. Serpents swallowing pregnancies. Awe do ton be oyumi. Serpents swallowing blood. Awe do ton be ejemi. I address those serpents now by the power in the blood of Jesus. For it is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Let these serpents now begin to depart and go back to their senders. In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. That's right. Under the armpit. The serpent of infirmity. In the heart. The serpent of infirmity. In the head. The serpent of infirmity. In the intestine. In the kidney. In the liver. In the womb. In the legs, the serpents of infirmity. That place is not your habitation. Loose your hold now. Loose your hold now. Loose your hold now. Get out of that hiding place by the power in the blood of Jesus. That's the first person over there. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. Check your body now. Check your yeah, body. You find that, that infirmity that you brought here. You will find that that infirmity that you brought here has completely vanished. But we're still praying. We're still praying. They have been blocking your way all these years. But there is a command from heaven that they should let you go. And your way is open now in the name of Jesus. Uh Say, dark chains. Let your voice. Your time is up. Break. In the name of Jesus.
Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dark chains. Your time is up. Break. Aha. Jesus name we pray. And there be silence. Perfect silence. Evil powers. Let your power go to such people one by one. One by one. One by one. one, by one. Wherever they are. And begin to break the hold of this evil control. Break. 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 Still going on. You that woman over there. I command the spirits of your dead mother to come out of you now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, there is the power of God coming upon you. The powers that have been diverting your money and stealing your prosperity. Something is happening right now. There is a separation between you and that evil power. Aha. aha. I told you. That's an awesome thing that's going to happen here today. You, the problem in the bone, receive the healing power of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. If you brought any sickness here, and you find that the sickness has disappeared, I don't want the devil to run quickly to the altar here so that you can cover your miracle with the blood of Jesus. And affliction will not rise again. Come very quickly. That is, you check your body. You find that you brought a, a particular infirmity here. It has vanished. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Advertise your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Silence. There are, there are some incisions between the two breasts of a woman here. Some incisions. The incisions have been troubling your destiny. Fire! You know? Is coming upon those incisions now. So that they can let you go. Yeah, that's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you.
Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this morning. There is a satanic stronghold detaining and delaying your blessings. Once you pray this prayer, the prayer will connect you to the God of 24 hour breakthroughs. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every power delay my blessings. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. My soul, Pia Likata. The Ribo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba. Makantanda Rabo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba Santa. Just receive your 24 hours. Miracle. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Uh -huh. As better. As better. Yes. Whatsoever has been introduced into the blood of anyone here spiritually and is now manifesting physically and causing you trouble right there where you are the power of God is falling upon you and that yoke is broken completely Every power assigned to put me to shame. Can I hear you saying that? Let your voice be louder than that. Let your voice be loud. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray lay your right hand upon your head you will now shout this louder than anyone around you my head be lifted up fire in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray say thank you Jesus are you tired oh. we still have plenty of prayers to pray father we thank you for what you've done for this your children here cover the testimonies the miracles of the blood of Jesus. Affliction will never rise in their lives anymore. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going back to our prayers. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies, beloved. So every conspiracy against my destiny in the heavenlies. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Scatter the conspiracy. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for another wonderful evening. And we thank you for what you have been doing in our lives at this meeting. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This evening, open our understanding. Help us to repossess our lost possessions. Help us to force the enemy to vomit what it has swallowed from us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Tonight, by the grace of God, we're looking at what I call stars under attack. Stars under attack. Stars under attack. And you do well to listen very carefully to this short message, which will take us into some prayers, the kind of prayers some of us have never prayed before. Let's look at four scriptures very quickly. In Psalm 19, verse 1. Sisters, what's our topic for this evening? Brothers, Psalm 19, from verse 1 to 6. Psalm 19, from 1 to 6. I'd like you to pay attention to the careful wordings of the psalmist here. The heavens, not only one, it's plural, declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. The heavens, verse 1 again, declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. Meaning that the heavens can make a declaration over a man's life and over the earth. The heavens can make a declaration over your life and over the earth here. Yeah. So the firmament showed his handiwork. So the firmament reveals something. That is, the heavens can also show things. They reveal secrets. So the heavens talk. The firmament shows. In verse 2 it says, Day unto day uttereth speech. Confirming the fact that the heavens do speak each day has his own speech and these things may change from day to day and from time to time day unto day uttereth speech and then night unto night showeth knowledge that is a mystery of the night that is a knowledge hidden in the night there is some things that we, you will never know except at night there are some prayers that are best prayed at night. That's why Jesus said, Will God not avenge his saints who cry unto him day and night? There are some prayers, chapter 2, from verse 1. If I were your shoes, I would look at these scriptures. The enemy does not bother any destiny that does not bother him. The enemy is useless anyway and it comes for nothing. But immediately God announces your program in heaven. And the enemy hears it. And you don't know it. The battle of your life begins. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Say, where is he that is born king of the Jews? 
4. We have seen his star in the east and I come mystery of mysteries. Those men were able to locate the star of Jesus and they came to trace it. Look at verse 7. Verse then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. What does he need with that information? He wants to carry out a counter attack against the star. Unfortunately, those men deceived him. They didn't tell him the truth. That is, there were some men called wise men. And they were able, by looking at the sky, locate the star belonging to Jesus. Meaning, beloved, that there are men with ability to decode the speakings of the heavens. These men, they are mostly evil. Because some of the things we Christians should settle down and learn, we are not serious with them yet. We are busy fighting ourselves. Every time I see a woman die of cancer, this cancer, that cancer, that, I fold my head and say, what can we do? What kind of prayer can we pray so that this kind of thing don't kill women? These are the kind of solution evangelists we are still busy fighting ourselves. The demonic people can look at the heavens and, and know that a child is born at Elisha. And that this child is going to become this, going to become that, going to become that. And right there, if they want to extend their wickedness, they can do something to that star. Like it is written in Daniel chapter 8. There are people here this evening who need to pray until their voice gives way. Because the star is already cast down. Look at Daniel chapter 8. Look at what a particular power did from verse 9 to 10. This is exactly the situation now. Which is why we are gathered here this evening before we enter into another year. Look at Daniel chapter 8 from verse 10. From verse 9. And out of one of them came forth a little horn which wags exceeding great towards the south and towards the east and towards the pleasant land. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He cast the stars down. And then to ensure that the thing does not rise again, he stamped on it. You say, ah, but these, these stars, does it mean that these stars are human beings? In Genesis chapter 37, look at verse 9. See, those ancient men understood many things that we don't know. In Genesis chapter 37, look at into the dream of Joseph. Genesis 37, verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it to his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon, and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. His parents understood the dream straight away. They didn't need any interpretation. They knew. They knew that by the sun and the moon he was referring to his father and his mother. And by the stars he was talking about his brethren. They understood it. If they had told some of us that kind of dream, we would probably say, well, maybe it's witchcraft power trying to attack you. No. The interpretation of those are human beings. The Bible says there is one glory of the sun, there is one glory of the moon, there is one glory of the stars, but one star is greater than another in glory. When satanic powers, they want to finish up a person, the first area of attack they head towards is in the womb. If you escape that one, and I say, okay, let's go for sexual attack. If they fail in that one, bring his urine. If they fail in that one, bring his feces. Bring his saliva. Bring his hair. Bring his fingernails or whatever. When they now try all these things, and they find that it's impossible to deal with the person, 
they now go to men who operate altars in the stars. That is men and women who visit heavens. Men and women who visit the heavens. Why do men visit the heavens? Number one is to obtain direction. Those who visit heavens to obtain direction. Number two is to know the future. Because heavens speak and heavens know. Number three is to cage progress. Number four. Raise up your right hand to the heavenly beloved. And you declare this loud and clear. Every conspiracy against my life in the heavenly. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Begin to scatter the conspiracies. Every conspiracy against my life in the heavenly. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't say this does not concern me. I think you should pray it with holy anger. Every power circulating my name for evil. You are a liar. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Any power circulating my name for evil. You are a liar. Damn! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. I someone here this morning today is your first day here. Household wickedness have conspired together and they have donated you. Although you are standing there on your feet, but you are not really there. You have already been donated. But thank God you are here this morning. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil dedication is broken completely. <laughs> That's right. Say this again loud and clear. I shall, I shall be a victor, not a victim. Not a victim. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> declare it. I shall be a victor and not a victim. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this wonderful morning. And we thank you for the wonderful things you will do here this morning. Accept our thanks in Jesus. This morning, open our understanding. Help us to war a good warfare. And by the time we close from this service, let men and women see your glory upon our lives. And let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And listen very carefully to this very short message. Because today it's a serious prayer meeting. But listen to this very short exhortation, which is titled Speak Evil of No Man. Speak Evil of No Man. And let's read some scriptures. In Titus chapter 3, I read verse 1 and 2. Titus chapter 3, 1 to 2. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men, to speak evil of no man. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Let no 
corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. The book of Second Peter, Second Peter chapter two, from verse ten. Second Peter two from ten to twelve. But chiefly, them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. They are going to perish because of the amount of those people there. In James chapter 4 now, James chapter 4, verse 11. Bible says, Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. James chapter 4, verse 11. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the Lord. But if thou judge the law, thou art not the doer of the law, but a judge. In these four scriptures that we've read, the commandment is loud and clear. Speak evil of no man. The commandment is loud and clear in those four passages. Let me make a few statements to you about the words we speak. Just a few statements about the words we speak. Number one, the signal, the major signal of self-control is mouth control. The major signal of self-control is mouth control. When you cannot control your mouth, it is obvious you cannot control your life. And that can you discipline yourself. Says thou a man who is loose with his mouth, or show me a man who is loose with his mouth. Then I will show you a man who is not disciplined and who cannot be holy. Number two. Statements about words. It is dangerous to speak when you cannot improve on your silence. When you are already silent and your silence is already doing well. What you are going to say, unless it will improve on that silence, you don't speak it at all. You know, we're in a period of prayer, and I want all of us to get the mighty blessings of God in this prayer program. That is, there is no use in speaking unless you can improve on your silence. Three, the biggest mouth always have the least to say. When the mouth is too big, too loud, just talk, 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 talk. They have little to say. This is why God does not use talkatives. Because God himself is a secret keeper. Statement number four. It is wiser for you to choose what you say than for you to say what you choose. It's wiser for you to choose what you say than to just say what you choose. Try and understand that one too. Number statement number five that I want to make here this morning. There are great talkers who talk, talk, talk. They are usually little doers. Great talkers are usually little doers. They talk great, but they do little. Six. Evil words cut more deeply than a sword. Evil words cut more deeply than a sword. Words may not break somebody's bones, but it can break the heart. Break somebody's heart. That's why we have to be very, very careful what we say. Statement number seven. Speech, they say, is silver. But silence is golden. Speech is silver. Silence is golden. Sometimes by just keeping quiet, you save your life a lot of trouble. Eight. Written words can be erased. But spoken words cannot be erased. It's already gone. It's like you throw feather into the wind. You won't be able to gather it together. 
Written words can be erased. But spoken words cannot be erased. Statement number nine. In the use of words, quality is more important than quantity. Quality is more important than quantity. These are statements about words that I want you to know. And the last statement I want to make is this. Overproduction or multiplication of words indicates poverty of thought. Multiplication of words is, is a sign of poverty of thought. That's why the Bible makes it loud and clear. Speak evil of no man. We are to speak evil of no man. Please listen to me very, very carefully. Whether the men are good or bad does not matter. God says you have no right to speak evil of another person. Sometimes when you grab our newspapers in this country, sometimes I'm shocked at what some people say against leaders, against pastors, against all kinds of people. Many of us, unfortunately, we are already convicted in the court of heaven for evil speaking. Many mouths in heaven are listed as mouths that broadcast for the devil. If heaven was to make the list available to you, the list of those who do evil speaking, you will be shocked at the kinds of names and at the volume of names you will find there. Sometimes a small thing can spoil a big thing. That muzzle in the middle of our mouth, as small as it is, can wreck the whole of somebody's life. One day, we were traveling to a badon. We were traveling in a new car. And the kind of driver they gave to me, a government driver, is a kind of driver who believes that it is not good for any vehicle to be at his front. So that means he overtakes anything, anybody, any car, any bike, anything at his front. And he was speeding seriously. And when I'm in a vehicle and you're speeding, I don't really bother myself because I know I will not die in a vehicle accident. We overtook so many vehicles. Trailers, wrecked cars, Okada. Anytime he saw a vehicle at the front, he overtakes. All of a sudden, rain began to fall. As the rain started, he switched on his wiper. The wiper did not work. So we had to slow down. Because now he could not even see his front again. He was now going slowly. Slowly. All of a sudden, to my own sadness, all the vehicles we overtook, the trailers, the Okada, the Volkswagen, they were just driving past. Why? They had a wiper. We didn't have one. Eventually, we had to stop because the rain became heavier. So, that new vehicle with just a bad wiper could not move because the wiper was not functional. A small thing like a mouth can hinder fantastic breakthroughs for people. The Lord has asked me to warn you that most people speak evil things about what they know and what they don't even know. They speak evil of things about which they don't even understand. This is a very serious matter and I want you to understand this. I was here, or was it two years ago? Somebody was crying there, let me see the Joe, let the Joe pray for me. I want to make a restitution. Because the angels of God were now pursuing him. What was his problem? He said he saw one pastor marrying one woman. He said the pastor was very short. The woman was very tall. So he said, ah, look at this funny sister. He went to marry this short pastor. And he went home. And right from that day, the angels were pursuing him. Who asked him to comment? Nobody. So it's amazing how so many people jump into conclusion about other people's matter without knowing the details. Many of us need to cry to heavens for forgiveness and also do deliverance of the mouth. You may be saying the truth, but the manner of saying it may be completely evil. It is very sad that many of us run into this sin continually. And evil speaking has become the major ingredient in most speaking. If you are here and you delight in repeating the sin, the mistake, the tragedy of another person, you are guilty of evil speaking. 
If you are here and you are talking against somebody behind their back, you are backbiting. You are guilty of evil speaking. This commandment is a commandment people have trampled upon and it has caused us a lot of trouble. Beloved, watch your words or you may be digging up trouble for yourself. I've met quite a number of people. They say, you see me, I don't take nonsense. I say things as they are. I don't fear anybody. You are guilty of evil speaking. Guilty of evil speaking. The road to heaven is very narrow. Very narrow. It will not embrace you when your lips speak evil. If you think you can just open your mouth and say anything to anybody, anytime, the way you like it. Hey, you will not be able to sing with angels in heaven. You think you can just open your mouth and talk about other people's wives? Other people's children? Calling others witches and wizards? Gossiping about others? Talking and saying, you see, you see, see your friend, see your friend. Speaking against your leaders, whether political or spiritual, singing with angels in heaven will be impossible. This is a sin most believers commit every day, every day. And we need to repent from it. We don't want the enemy to hinder our breakthroughs. Those things that you are telling your husband at home, which is gossip by biting about other people, is evil speaking. Those backbiting agenda, they are evil speaking. And all those things you don't know anything about. And somebody told you. And the person who told you said somebody told him. And that one too said somebody told him. And then you are now saying it as if it is true. Evil speaking. There are consequences. Terrible consequences of evil speaking. Number one, unanswered prayers. That's why I say sometimes a very small thing can spoil a big thing. Unanswered prayers. We pray, 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 pray. But as far as heaven is concerned, your name has been listed as part of as one of those who speak evil against others. Some people, where they are living, they will carry out an evil analysis of all the tenants. You see that one at the front door. He has three wives. And only three wives are witches. You see the door that follows. That one's a stupid, foolish bachelor. Drinking palm wine. You see that one that follows. There's a woman that's living there. She's so short that you can hardly see her head. You see that one there? He's carrying out an evil analysis of the whole house. You are guilty of evil speak. If the same mouth now goes to the altar of prayer, immediately you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, heavens will bang the telephone on your ears. And no! This is an evil mouth. You don't want to listen to this one. Number two consequence. Is that evil speaking stops divine favor. It stops divine favor. Number three. Evil speaking will give a bad life and bad days. Look at 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 10. 1 Peter 3 10. It's good for you to open to that scripture. 1 Peter 3 10. So for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. For he that will love life and you want to see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. So one consequence of evil speaking is bad life, bad days. For the fourth consequence of evil speaking. You magnetize sorrow and misfortune unto yourself. The more evil you speak about anyone. Five. Blockage from heaven. Heaven will just block the person out. Because you say, Father, in the name of Jesus. He says, sorry. We don't listen to satanic broadcasting station here. Because you are using your mouth to broadcast something for evil. Six. If you are guilty of evil speaking, the Bible says the person will not be established. In Psalm 140, Psalm 140, verse 11. Psalm 140, verse 11. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. That's what the Bible says. The person will not be established. 
seventh consequence, which is a very serious matter, that you may carry unwanted evil load. Load that does not belong to you. Go and carry it with your mouth. You have to be very careful. Number eight, consequence. If you are guilty of evil speaking, you cannot be God's favorite. Can be. Because you are speaking evil of people. Number nine, consequence. That if you are guilty of evil speaking, you will invite spiritual and physical leprosy. Just like Aaron and Miriam. Dathan, Korah and Abel. Those ones, they were guilty of evil speaking. Tenth consequence. If you are guilty of evil speaking, the person will reap a harvest of evil words. A harvest of very evil words. So you have to be very, very careful. The eleventh consequence of evil speaking is that God will cut the person off. God will just cut the person off. And the person will know what's happening. Look at Psalm 101, verse 5. Psalm 101, verse 5. Whosoever privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him will I cut off. That's what is in the word of God. Do you talk evil behind somebody's back? You are risking being cut off by the Almighty. And the last but not the least, if you are guilty of evil speaking, you put yourself and your family in trouble. You put yourself and your family in trouble. That's why the Bible says it loud and clear. And I'm bringing into you members of this church as a warning this morning that speak evil of no man. If you are already guilty of evil speaking, what is the way out? Number one, you need to repent. You need to repent and tell the Lord that I'm sorry for misusing my mouth. I'm sorry for commenting on things that I don't understand. I'm sorry for broadcasting evil information about somebody which I cannot confirm. You need to ask the Lord to forgive you. Two, you must set a watch over your mouth. Set a watch over your mouth. At this, keep your mouth shut until the Holy Spirit in you gets into gear. If the Holy Spirit in you has not started speaking, then keep shut. Set a watch by your mouth. Put a spiritual immigration officer at the door, at the lips of your mouth. Three, lay aside every evil speaking and gossiping. And if you don't want to gossip, then you do not listen to gossips. The reason we still have gossipers is because we have people who are ready to listen. And so, when somebody is saying something to you, this thing that you are saying, can you repeat what you are saying in the presence of so-so person? Bye, bye. Ah, say, ah, no, 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 no. Ah, don't, don't say I told you. Tell the person you should go away from me. If not, it will put you in trouble. Lay it aside. The fourth thing to do, put away all evil speaking. When it comes before you, tell the speakers you are not interested. Immediately they begin to talk, you find that it's not a defiance. Say, sorry, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. I'm sorry, that's not why I came here. That's not why I came here. I was at a place some time ago, and they threw some questions at me, expecting me to tell them something negative about the personalities they were discussing. So I said, I'm sorry. I came here to be a blessing. And I want to be a blessing. I'm not here to broadcast evil. So if you are here and you want to be blessed, then I too want to be a blessing. Put it away. Number five, that you should do. Pray always the prayer of the psalmist. The psalmist has one important prayer point. In Psalm 19 verse 14. Psalm 19 verse 14. Let's open to Psalm 19 verse 14 to locate this prayer of the psalmist. Psalm 19 verse 14. Are we there? Let's read it loud and clear. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in that sight. 
Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Read it again loud and clear. As far as you keep praying that prayer, keep praying that prayer, you watch what comes out of your mouth. I said, but I want to make my point. I want to make my points. The point you will make and you will come back and cry later. Why don't you just shut up? Six. You may need to carry out deliverance of your mouth. A lot of people think deliverance is just deliverance from sickness, from demons, from all those things alone. You can do deliverance of your mouth. Especially if your mouth speaks 200 words per minute and most of the words are useless words. Seven. Barricade your life from L bound friends. Barricade your life from L bound friends. L bound friends that are were dead towards L fire. Barricade your life from them. That's why we speak here. So you only come across four kinds of people in your life. Number one, you can come across somebody who will add to your life. At least your coming across the person improves your life. Number two, you can come across somebody who will subtract from your life. The day you meet them is the day your tragedy or disaster starts. They will subtract from you. Anybody who gossips to you is subtracting from you. The third kind of person you, you, you will meet is those who leave you the way you are. They don't add to you. They don't subtract to you. They are just there. Then the fourth kind of person you could meet is those who have come to waste you. And there are plenty of them around. You should barricade your life from those friends who have come to subtract from you. You should barricade your life from friends who have come to waste you. You should barricade your life from hell-bound friends. Bow down your heads where you are there. And speak to the Lord. If you have been misusing your mouth, you have been speaking evil against people, even if it's your boss in the office, you have been speaking evil against them. Maybe your husband, maybe your wife, maybe your children, maybe your colleagues, maybe fellow church members. Repent before the Lord now and ask him to forgive you so that you will not have a hindrance to your prayers. I give you time to do that. It's very important you do it from your heart. Say, Father, I am sorry for misusing my tongue. Father, I'm sorry for speaking when I should not speak and speaking what I should not speak. Father, I'm sorry for the way in which I've used my tongue. Amen. Let's take our fasting booklet now. Fear not to enter 
is caught in the slave, the nest of the poor, where the wolves reckon as thy truth in his beauty and love in its end. Then as these are the offerings to let on his This door we bring them in trembling and fearfulness. He will serve for the living. Now sing it loud and clear. Mornings of joy for evenings of fearfulness. Trust for a trembling on Immortal, invisible, God only wise. Immortal, invisible, God only wise, enlightened, accessible, healed from our most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, victorious, thy great name we pray. Last verse loud and clear. Great Father of glory, pure Father of life, thine angels adore thee, all verily their sign. All long will who render, O apostasy, these only the splendor of light I let O oh, Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Quietly now. Oh Jesus, I promise to serve the to be thou forever near me, be thou forever be my master, my and I shall not fear. No wonder on the path Verse 3, quietly Oh, let me hear this speaking in a sense clear and still I'm born the storms of power shows the moments of self will. Oh, speak to me and show me to still on control. Oh, speak and make me listen thou God. 
Verse 5, loud and clear. Oh, let me see thy food, my sunny, then plant my own, my own to follow thee, is in thy strength alone. Oh, guide me, call me, draw me, upon me to the end and many and see me my Savior and my friend let's rise up on our feet as we sing yes I spent in vanity and pride Yes, I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my love was crucified. No, he not it was for me either. On Calvary, mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. Then my body sold for liberty at Calvary. Was for oh the love that drew salvation's plan oh the grace that brought it down to man oh the mighty God that God this plan at Calvary mercy there was great and grace was free man was great and grace was free pardon there was multiplied to me. Yeah, my body so funny, but he had Amen. Which section are we in now? Say it again loud and clear. And what is our memory verse? Mm-hmm. Amen. All eyes closed. We're going to start some prayers now. Again, as those prayers are going on, the power of God will begin to pop out like popcorn. As these prayers are going on, there are people who have infirmities in their body that those infirmities will dry up. There are people here today and the enemies has fired several arrows into aspects of their lives. The intestines, the internal organs have been turned upside down. As we pray this prayer, these miracles will begin to overturn the power of the oppressor. All of a sudden, creative miracles will begin to happen. And there will be replacement of organs in the body. All of a sudden... Those that the enemies have programmed problems into their bodies. You will hear a breaking sound. And the yoke of the enemy shall be broken to pieces. Get yourself ready now. Immediately those prayers are going on. And you find that there is a condition you, you brought here. That has just disappeared. Just find the way to the altar at that time. So that we can pray with you and the problem will not come back. Everybody will say this loud and clear. Every power working against my efficiency. That is the power that is not making you to be 100% efficient. Can you say this loud and clear? Make it louder than that, beloved. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Let that be scattering. Masopokoyabo shenterabo koraba. Every power working against my efficiency. 
Your time is up. Scatter. That's right. Masotekaya bo shendera bo koraba. Spirit of the living God. Begin to move now. Mashete sepola kaya bo shendera ba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I say plantation of spirit husband in somebody's womb. The power of God is touching that place now. And the plantation is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It has now vanished. Yes. The serpent on the head covering the head like headgear. The power of God is falling upon that head. And the yoke of the serpent upon the head is broken. That's right. Aha. Say this loud and clear again. Every secret and open enemy of my laughter. Can you say this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes. Spirit of the living God. Begin to move. Move. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Receive the touch of the power of God. Receive the power of the touch of God. Receive the fire of the touch of God. Yes, yes, receive the touch of the fire of God. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. An evil swelling on the breast, an evil sore in the body. The power of God is falling upon you now, and the yoke of those infirmities are broken to pieces. Yes, that's the electric power of God. It's going from the top of the head to the soles of the feet, from the top of the head to the soles of the feet, from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will say this louder than anyone here. Every agent, Every agent. of untimely death. Untimely Can you say this with only anger? Every In my body. In, my body. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the agent of untimely death. Spirit of the living God. Move, 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 move. Something is happening over there. Yes, yes, yes. Every agent of untimely death in my body. Your time is up. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Every agent of untimely death in the body. Your time is up. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. The arrows of fire that used to go through somebody's body. I see somebody is putting a sword of fire through you. It's coming out through the mouth and through the nose. Yes. Say this with holy anger. My arrows of prayer. Arise! Bring shame to my enemies today. Can I hear the sister shouting this loud and clear? I want the sisters to be more aggressive. Sisters, I want you to even shout it loud and loud. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Brothers, shout it loud and loud, sisters. Everybody shouting it loud and loud. In the name of Jesus. 
Masakata ya boshenta ya ba. Let my arrows of prayer arise and bring shame to my enemies today. Today, 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 today. Aha, 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 aha. Masotekate ya boshenta ya ba. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. There are 12 persons here. Before this next Sunday, the kind of financial breakthrough they've never had before, the Lord is bringing it your way. All that the Lord wants you to do now is to pledge a quarter of it to his work so that the door to that blessing will be released upon your life. Do that now. Because that the power of God will move and open powerful doors onto your life from unexpected quarters. Thank you, Jesus. I see a woman over there. The witchcraft powers have put almost 21 infirmities in your body. It's like you have never known any moment of peace. Those arrows, they are coming out one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. The one in the legs, the one in the womb, the one in the breast, the one in the neck. The one in the head. That's the power of God coming upon you. Enough is enough. Say this loud and clear. Power of fresh favor. <laughs> How many people want that one? Can you say it loud and clear? Pursue me and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Power of fresh favor. Pursue me and locate me. Masopoko yabo shente rabo koraba. Da sente kayabo shente rabo kolaba santa. Yes. Yes. Something is still happening over there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That short prayer we just prayed now has opened many good doors that the enemy has locked against so many people. Thank you, Jesus. The witchcraft attack against your certificates have job been revoked now. And that certificate will bring you favor from within and from abroad. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody has been healed from witchcraft epilepsy. Somebody has been delivered too from this evil personality that has entered into your body in your sleep. It's coming out of you now. That's right. Yes. Somebody has been delivered from the odor of death. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. Aha. This prayer, please pray it with holy madness. Say, armor of my enemies. The armor. Can you say this loud and clear? Begin to leak. Aha. Can you say this loud and clear? Say it with only anger. In the name of Jesus. Command the armor to begin to leak. In the name of Jesus. They must leak. Today is today. Let the fire of God begin to move. 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 Let the armor leak. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. The enemy has laid an evil hand on the stomach of somebody over there. And you've been having this battle going on inside that stomach. That evil hand, which is from your father's house, has been taken out of that stomach area. And the turbulence in that tummy has now ceased. Thank you, Jesus. Say, so, oh God, arise and break the alliance of the enemy. Can you say this loud and clear? Aha. Make it louder than that. Oh God. 
In the name of Jesus. Let the alliance be broken. In the name of Jesus. Begin to break the alliance of the enemy. Oh God arise. And break the alliance of the enemy. Break it. Break it. Break it. In the name of Jesus. Break the alliance. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo shentera bo koraba santa aba. Ribo kapanda santa aba. Manakatanda rabo sopola kaya bo shente. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Thou rod of sleeplessness. Walking upon this person. Be withdrawn from the head. Be withdrawn from the eyes. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes. Say, let the boastings of my enemies be turned to shame. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Let the boastings be turned to shame. Let the boastings be turned to shame. In the name of Jesus. Let the bosses be turned to shame. In the name of Jesus. Masopokoya bo shentera bakara bo santa. Ribosoponda kanteya. Yes. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to destroy. Every plantation of darkness. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus name we pray. I see somebody over there. God has just done a final barrier of a long term affliction. Final barrier of that long term affliction. Thank you, Jesus. 1,200 persons here this morning who have been programmed for uncommon turnaround breakthroughs. But I want you to pray this prayer with holy anger. Let the confidence of my enemies be shattered to pieces. In the name of Jesus, shatter the confidence. Shatter it. In the name of Jesus, let the confidence be shattered. Let it be shattered. Let it be shattered. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Makorabo Saponta. Ribokaponda Santayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. The enemy has put something in somebody's stomach. Thereby ballooning the stomach. Right now, that balloon has been punctured. I want to wait for that to be corrected. That's right. Yes, that ballooning stomach is going down. Aha. This prayer is three hot times. Three hot times. There was a champion of the problems of Mordecai. What happened to that champion of problems? He died in the place of Mordecai. There was a champion for the forces of the Philistines. His name was Goliath. What happened to that champion? He died. You will now say this loud and clear. We are praying these three hot times. And as we are praying them, the power of God will begin to move. Oh, champion of my problem! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Yes, deal with the champion! Deal with the champion! Deal with the champion! Deal with the champion! In the name of Jesus! Deal with the champion! In the name of Jesus! Mopia Rikasaponda! Ribo kapanda sente yaba. Da kapanda kapanda. Ribo kapanda sente yaba. In Jesus name we pray. I say sister here. A strange woman has taken your husband away. By the time you get home from this meeting. The man will be waiting for you at home. For that evil yoke has been broken. Oh champion of my problem. You are a liar! Damn! In the name of Jesus, you are a liar! Masikatunda Kayaba. 
Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh champion of my problems. You are a liar. In Jesus name we pray. This is the third time. This is the third time. Don't negotiate with the enemy. This money is not a money to negotiate. Oh, champion of my problems. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 Enough is enough. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is working in the life of somebody and the, before, so that the Lord can perfect what he wants to do in your life. He is doing a miracle that is involving reducing your age so that what they say is not possible for you can be possible. Yes, that's the power of God is coming upon you. That's the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I commit this your children unto your holy hand. I decree that affliction will not rise again. In the name of Jesus. The miracle that I've received today shall be permanent in your life. I barricade the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You will raise your right hand up to the heavenly Shout this louder than anyone here. Every strong man of opposition to my breakthroughs. Can you shout this loud and clear? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Now let's raise up our two hands to the heavenly. As we pray these prayers for uncommon breakthroughs for ourselves. Say this loud and clear. Every power assigned to frustrate me scatter in the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every foundation of witchcraft in my family land. In the name of Jesus. Begin to address it. Today is today in office enough. In Jesus' name we pray. I shall not be demoted. I shall go from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I shall not be demoted. I shall go from glory to glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Begin to prophesy on this week. Declaring that it shall favor you. That great and marvelous things shall happen in your life. To the glory of the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want you to sing this song louder than anyone around you. Praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Oh yes, praise the Lord. Oh yes, sir. Praise the Lord, Alleluia, praise the Lord. Praise the King of Kings, 
Hallelujah. Praise the, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Praise the King of King. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the King of King. 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 The mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are that. Alleluia. Your hand, your hand, your hand. Ah, the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are that. Alleluia, Alleluia. Shout hallelujah. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Shout it loud hallelujah. Let the person who wants the largest touch of God here this morning. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Now raise up your two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Power must change hands in my life. No matter what that they will may say. Power must change hands in my life. No matter what that they will may say. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, how I must change and see my life, no matter what that they will be. Sing it one more time. How I must change and see my life, no matter what that they will be. How I must change and see. My life, hallelujah, no matter what that they will miss. In Jesus' name, ma'am. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Power must change and see. My life, hallelujah, no matter what that they will miss. Thank you, Jesus. It's alive. Amen. It's alive. Jesus is alive forever. It's alive. It's alive. Sing it loud and clear. It's alive. Jesus is alive forever. It's alive. Oh, is alive. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. Jesus is alive forever. Is alive. Oh, yes, is alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. Is alive. Oh, is alive. Amen. Salam, Jesus is alive forever. Is alive. I love the man of Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost within. I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. I love the man, oh yes, of Galilee, of Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. Hallelujah, he has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. 
What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He makes the blind to see. He makes the cripple walk. Hallelujah. Louder, louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah, 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 We alone raga, we alone raga, we alone raga. He won't come in. Bega, 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 bega. Bega, bega, bega. Bega, bega, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, he won't be bega, 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 Kosagbara to dabiti Jesu Agbara 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 to jag Sing it loud and clear Kosagbara to dabiti Jesu Kosagbara Kosagbara to dabiti Jesu Kosagbara Oh yes Oh yes Oh yes Oh yes, Abara, 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 Odigo ye di kangi Jehovah Odigo ye di kangi Odigo ye di kangi Jehovah Odigo ne di kangi Ine bule Odigo ye di kangi Odigo ye di kangi Odigo ye di kangi Odigo ye di kangi I love the man of Galilee for he has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and said that Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee. Begin to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Begin to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one who has brought you here by his power. The one who can never fail. Who will never fail? Who has all powers in his hand? Glory be to the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Amen. Father, we thank you for a morning like this. And we praise your only name because you have told us that you will do very, very special things here this morning. Accept that thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we come before you now. We know that there is nothing beyond your power. The enemy may start a revival, but one word from you, just one word, will scatter the conspiracy of darkness. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are here today. Let each and every one who has come to this particular palm of changes be candidates for uncommon testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Any blessing that has been withheld from January to this period, let your children here possess their possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. And all powers gathered to embarrass you. In the name of the Lord, we will destroy them. Let your power arise and let all our enemies be scattered. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A loud hallelujah. Let's have a seat and take our Bibles. God bless you. I pray that the Lord will specially open the understanding of his people here this morning. So that you understand the depth of what I'm going to discuss in a few minutes now. Which is really the agenda of the Lord for this meeting. I look at overpowering foundational witchcraft. Overpowering foundational witchcraft. In Deuteronomy chapter 29, Deuteronomy 29 verse 18, we read a very, very interesting scripture. Deuteronomy 29, 18. Listen very, very carefully. Deuteronomy 29, 18. So let's there should be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose act turn it away this day from the Lord our God to go and serve the gods of these nations lest there should be among you a root that beareth gall and wormwood the passage may look complicated as read but what it's really saying is this is that a man a woman a family a tribe if they turn away from the Lord and serve other gods, they become a root that will eventually be bearing gall and wormwood. Meaning a woman, a man, or a family could form an evil foundation that will eventually give birth to bad things. Meaning that a single man in a family line could pollute or lay a foundation of destruction for the whole family. A single woman in the family can be the root that is bearing gall and wormwood in that place. Doesn't matter whether the person is alive or now dead, the fact is that the person is in that family. This is what I want you to understand very well as we go on now. When we say foundation, foundation plays an important role in the life of anything. Foundation is what holds a structure in place. If the foundation of a building is bad, it will give rise to a bad building. When foundations are about to be made, normally holes are dug right inside the ground. The foundation of any building right inside the earth is not nice to behold. It's ugly, hidden. It's not seen, it's dark. It's only the surface people can see. It's very, very difficult, beloved. To say you want to see the foundation of a house when you are on top of it is right inside the earth. If there is a root, a foundation that is bearing something terrible, those that come of it, of course, will face a lot of trouble. I want you to be sure of this in your spirit as we go on this morning. 
A lot of things will battle day and night and it, they look very stubborn. That seem to be going in year, year in, year out. Can be traced to this. I was sharing this at one of our prayer in program. A brother was in this Lagos, 37 or 38 years old. Everything he did, nothing was moving. He had two other siblings, they're not doing well. Three children from that same family, they're not doing well. This fellow who had a master's degree was so brilliant that those he trained to pass first degree will get a job he with a master's will not get. And so for seven years, nothing. Trouble. It was then somebody invited him to the mountain of fire. This was a long time ago, maybe 94 or so. We discussed a little thing like this. Not as much as I was even saying now. He now started praying. Anytime he prayed serious prayers, you know, the more you pray, the more you discover. And the more you discover, the more you recover. And the more you recover, the more progress you make. Anytime you pray, Father, I want to know why I'm going through this. He will see a pot. It does. He did not understand. Anytime serious prayer, pot. Serious prayer, pot. It was then he came for counseling. And then the Lord revealed that there is something in the pot that is manipulating his life. So he traveled home to his parents. They were quite old at that time. He arrived, they said, welcome, Lagos man, ah, long time no see. He sat down, spoke with them. And he said, daddy, mommy, eh, things are not working well. They said, well, things will not work well because you are not doing what you are supposed to do. He said, daddy and mommy, is, is there any, do, do I have anything, or is there anything here like a pot? They said, yes. All the children have one pot each. And when we cut off your ear, when you were born, your first ear cut, the ear is in the pot. It's at the back. You are supposed to be pouring palm oil on that pot every 21 days. But for seven years, you have not come here to do anything. That's why things are not moving. He said, I see. He now used wisdom. He said, well, I'm ready to pour oil now. Can you show me my own pot? They said, come on. They took him to the back of the house in the village. And through deep there, there were three pots. The other siblings too were not coming to pour oil and he said they were not doing well. So he said, where is my own? They pointed to his own. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He carried the pot. Before they could say Jesus is Lord, he ran out of the house into the motor park. The parents were quite old, so they, they had no strength to pursue him. And true, inside that pot was his ear that was caught 37 or 38 years ago. He got to the cap, motor park. The man was still chasing Lagos, three persons, Lagos, three persons. I said, no, don't, don't call three persons. Just go, go, go. I will pay. He ran away. Brought the pot to us at the headquarters. We anointed that pot, burnt it within 48 to 72 hours. This fellow who could not get a job for seven years had seven different appointments. That's why I know, and as many people as I hear this morning, there is something that has been taken away from your body into any coven of the enemy, which they are now using to manipulate you. This is why I know that this money you shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. You shall be delivered. In the name of Jesus. You shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. When we talk about troublous foundation, there are 20 major things. One, strange children. Two, Curses. Three, evil covenants. Four, root of bitterness. Five, idol worship. I mean, all those things that I'm mentioning, once, once they are in the foundation, the offsprings will definitely have trouble. Six, satanic priesthood. That is, there were members of that family who were priests or priestesses to Satan. Seven, Satanic consultation. 
Any consultation that anybody goes to make with the enemy puts the whole family in trouble. Eight, dark professions. Being diviners, witch doctors, hunters that fortify themselves with the enemy's weapons. Nine, slavery. Ten, occultism. Eleven, lodge membership. If your parents were in the lodge society, of course you will have trouble now. Twelve, bastards. Thirteen, incest. Incest in the fire, there will be trouble. Fourteen, fake marriages. Fifteen, wicked royalty. Sixteen, marine powers. Seventeen, practice of magic, voodoo and all kinds of fetish things 18 necromancy if it's in the foundation that will be trouble if it's only one single person practice maybe great great grandfather or somebody that will be trouble now 19 familiar spirits and number 20 is witchcraft those are the 20 main troublous foundations Exodus 22 18 Shut but powerful verse. Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. It doesn't mean we should start cutting off the heads of people. No. We should not allow their power to function. We should render their birds useless. We should, if you like it, kill their power. Don't allow them to live. There are plenty of offenses in the Bible. That the Bible does not recommend death sentence. But for witchcraft, it's physical and spiritual death sentence. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10. Deuteronomy 18, 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. The Lord has a major problem with the spirit of witchcraft. Now in Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. Leviticus 20, 27 says this a man also a woman that art a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death they shall stone them with stones their blood shall be upon them the lord has a major problem with his powers and let's face it beloved all those who are engaged in witchcraft if you are one of them if you are here you're a foolish person but what good benefit have you derived from that association what is the sense in eating your own children why should you debar the progress of those who will help you at old age? This foolishness of the highest order. The Lord has a major problem with witchcraft power. The Lord hates them with perfect hatred. And that's why witchcraft is known as public enemy number one. Anywhere you see things happening and plenty of dead people, it is witchcraft. There is no other name. All the crashes, flame crashes you are finding in this country is all witchcraft power. There is no other name. The Lord hates them with perfect hatred because the Bible says they cause corpses upon corpses upon corpses upon corpses. That's what they do. That's why the witchcraft is more complicated than what we think. Witchcraft has to do with heavens, with the sun, the moon, the stars, the waters. And even in the house of God, they cause a lot of confusion. Just like in the days of Elijah, witchcraft breaks down the altar of the Lord. They form evil birds that pick away God's words from people's hearts. This is why I want you to pray with anger here today. I was on my way to a Nigerian city many years ago. A few miles of that city. One man that was inside the bus together said, Driver, stop. I want to ease myself. And he went to the bush with a nylon bag. While he went to the bush, he was wearing a three-piece suit. But by the time he came out, he was dressing in rags. And he sat down and said, Driver, we can go. I was very curious. So I asked him, Say, Mr. Man, you went into that place just now with the three pieces. You are coming out with rags. Why? He laughed. He said, you are a small boy. So we are about to enter my town. If they see me dressing like this, 
there will be trouble. But when they see me wearing rags, they say, ah, this one is not making it. They leave me alone. I now ask him another question. I say, but what makes you think that they didn't know that you went to change your clothes? I say, I beg, stop asking me foolish questions. He now said, look at my leg. He pulled up the trousers I was wearing. On that leg was an ugly sore. He said that sore had been there for as long as he could remember. And that it refused to heal. That that was enough mark. He didn't want another mark again. I said, Mr. Man, how about your mother? <sighs> said that one confessed to witchcraft and died? Your father? He said, mother killed father. So, and grandfather too confessed to witchcraft and died. His foundation of witchcraft is now troubling his life. That was a brother. He started coming to MFM. And then one way or the other, he married his wife. This wife was very prosperous. One or two months after the marriage, the man fell into big prosperity because of the anointing upon the wife. And things began to happen in their lives. They were happy. One day, the father of the man called the family meeting and told all his children. He said, listen, any child that wants to be richer than me will die. So because I've gathered the virtues of all of you to make money. This brother said, oh, no, I know, how can you say something like this? All fathers pray that their children will be greater than them. Why are you saying this? And he pointed at the brother and said, you will see. Beloved, by the time this brother will get home, and he got into the bedroom, his wife who brought prosperity into his life was stone dead on the bed. Just like that. Because of the witchcraft foundation of that man, that woman was removed from the scene. As I'm talking to you now, I can still imagine his face the, way, the day he came to report. Because he just started coming to me from that time. He didn't understand too many of the things we were doing. Even deliverance, he has never done deliverance before. When all this happened to him, he came to me that day. He said, Ah, I said, Pastor, I could see his face was in anguish. I pray this morning. But every power that wants to kill what will make you prosper must die this morning in the name of Jesus. Must die this morning in the name of Jesus. They must die this morning in the name of Jesus. They must die this morning in the name of Jesus. I know, brother, they stoned his mother to death for horrible witchcraft confession. I met him in England when I was studying for a PhD. As of the time that I came into the United Kingdom to study, he had been there for 16 years and could not get a first degree. This is the result of the evil foundation that was troubling his life. I know another brother, beloved, in their village, no one passes at the front of their house in daylight because the witchcraft power of his family is legendary. But with all the witchcraft, the legendary witchcraft powers, they had five children in that family. The oldest was 38 years old. The youngest was 20 years old. But the most educated person in that family only read up to primary five. So it's part of their legendary powers. It had not favored their lives. The bottom line is this. Since God has passed judgment on witchcraft, which is death sentence, and foundational witchcraft have a profound effect on the offsprings, then if we let them lie, they will come and trouble us. This is not a sleeping dog that should be allowed to lie. When there is witchcraft in the foundation, plenty of things can go wrong. Let me highlight them for you now. Before we now start praying, there could be blood pollution. Blood pollution. That's why you find strange occurrences. Wife has a problem in her blood. Husband does not have. Children does not have. And they are living in the same place. It's only this person having it. And he didn't, she was not born with it. There will be success manipulation. When there is witchcraft in the foundation, there will be failure of divine purpose. Strong enough to change the purpose of God for somebody's life. There will be peppery arrows. There will be experience of satanic syringe. Somebody punching injection into your body in the dream. There will be air manipulation. There could be depths, large amount of depths. There will be caged finances. There will be unexplainable hatred. There will be incomplete victory. There will be this struggling to live a holy life but not succeeding. Anytime they try to live holy, they fall flat. Good roads will just be closing and the evil ones will be opening. 
There will be unexplainable marital distress. There will be plenty of night feeding, night feeding in the dream. There will be a lot of aimless living. There will be anti promotion spirits. There will be a circle of problems. There could be stubborn infirmities. The person could be having false vision, not showing by the Holy Ghost. He will say it's God that is showing it to him. The people that have witchcraft troubling their financial will be denied access to their rightful position in life. Good things are silenced and evil things will be making noise. There will be counterfeit blessings. There will be what you call the rain of affliction. As one problem is going, another one is coming. There will be desert spirits. The person is trying to move but, they're just there, but you find that it's as if you are in a dry land. There will be consistent amputated breakthroughs. There will be evil mark on the person. No matter where the person roams, so you could run to any country. They will be waiting for the person there. They will be going to high heart and then falling from grace to grass. There will be business bewitchment. There will be unprofitable load on people's heads. There will be late progress. There will be satanic poison roaming around the person's body. All this as a result of that foundation which the Bible calls a root that bears gall and wormwood. You, well, you have plenty of unfriendly friends. You have plenty of rejection. You have children that are alive but not available to help you. The person may experience demon idols, all kinds of spirits, serpents walking into the room to come and attack you physically. Plenty of profitless hard work. Plenty of failure at the age of breakthroughs. Plenty of gradual dispossession. Plenty of spiritual blindness. Plenty of disfavor. Constant failure. Suicidal tendencies. Being disgraced out of breakthroughs. Polygamy. Hard life. Prostitution. Unexplainable backsliding. All these can come when there is witchcraft in the foundation. Take for example what happened in Oyibo about 20 years ago. Oyibo market. A woman came out in the open and was telling the whole market that there is the bone of twins stuck in her throat which she ate. And the market people said, hey, you... They began to stone her. Before she died. So that's not the only thing though. But she has killed so many people. 103. They had turned some people to arm robbers. A single person had killed 103. Made many lives useless. From a family line. Even if they stoned her 200 times. It will make up for the destruction she has caused. Her punishment will be spread over to her offspring. Unless they are born again. And even if they are born again and they have no knowledge to cut off the flow, it becomes an evil root that will trouble their lives. But I know that today here, all foundational witchcraft that has been troubling anyone here for years shall completely scatter in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. I've slowly tried to explain these things to you. Because we have only a short time to pray some powerful prayers. We should bring unbelievable breakthroughs. November is like an 11th hour month. The enemy tries to make sure that people lose their blessings for the year. How do we overpower this foundational witchcraft? Number one thing is genuine experience of salvation. A lot of people go to church but plenty of people are not born again. What we are saying this morning, we are not asking whether you go to church or you don't go to church. No. You need to have a direct relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is only those who are born again that the Bible says to, you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon every power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means touch you. It's only the Christians who have that power. Those who are genuinely born again. He said they shall take up serpents. That is, what other people will touch that will harm them, you will touch it to do you no know harm. Genuine experience of salvation. If you are not born again, the enemy knows you are not born again. So don't hesitate this money. If you are not born again, don't say, I'm going to church. That's not what God was saying. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. Some need to rededicate their lives because they were once born again, but now they've traveled far away. Number two thing that you should do is to dedicate yourself and everything you possess to the Lord. Yourself and everything you possess, dedicate it to the Lord. Then the third thing you should do is to undergo deliverance from any resident enemy that you have. Because a lot of us are looking for the enemies outside. But the enemy 
is already inside. I want you to understand this very, very well. The fourth thing you should do is to pray anti witchcraft prayers. The kind of prayers we're going to pray now. I want you to understand that. If we close our eyes to these things and pretend as if they don't exist, we are harming ourselves. And I want to counsel you not to listen to some preachers in this country who are telling you once you are born again, that is it. Nothing again. No prayer to pray, no battle to fight. You will be a joker, a celebrated joker. And if you think that all your past association with the devil, what you did that was wrong, all those past terrible things that happened that you are immune to their consequences, you'll be, you are a joker. Because the Bible says, whatsoever a man so, that he shall reap. I want you to understand this very well. And, and the Bible says, God will visit the iniquities of the fathers upon the children after the fourth, third, and fourth generation. Oh, have mercy on those ones who are his children there, who are born again. Salvation is not exemption from the battle of life. But salvation gives you the weapon to fight and to win in the battle of life. A pastor started work. Pastor Tinko. He gathered the first church. And when people began to come, he met some people, elders. One day these elders gathered together. And they said, Pastor, you have to step down. I ah, said, what do you mean? I appointed you. And you asked me to step down. I said, because you said that. I communicate all of you from this church in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Get out of here. Those elders, they laughed. They said, we reinstate ourselves in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Confusion. There was an open fight. And that was how the first church scattered. After some time, it started again. This second church, it started, what happened was even worse. This pastor impregnated the wife of his driver. And that was the end of the second church too. He tried again. He started the third one. This one. He was baptizing people in water. Only God knew what happened. A pregnant woman that came for baptism sank in the river. Police had to arrest him. That was the end of the third church. When he now came for deliverance, it was revealed that everyone in his family up to the last two generations, they worship water and some of them went to accept witchcraft in order to protect themselves. So, this thing dealt even with the pastor. It had no respect for his anointing. This is why this morning, the kind of prayer we should pray is not, the kind, is not ice cream prayers. It's not the kind of prayers you pray, your body, your soul, your spirit does not even know that you are praying. This is the kind of prayer you pray and within the next few hours, you begin to hear news and results. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. Well, you see, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have a fantastic opportunity. Don't waste time on that seat. Wherever you are, just find your way very quickly to the altar here. You are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. I want to be free from all these powers. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed. Run very quickly to the front here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Amen. Sophia at the front, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. And I'm sure today is a great day in your life. Just bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say now after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, thank you for this, your children, who have come to surrender their lives to you. I pray, O oh Lord, that you keep them standing by your power. You will establish them in righteousness so that oppression will be far from them. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus, let every satanic decree upon their lives be cancelled. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you. The rest of us, right there where you are, ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that would debar you from having a breakthrough here this morning. 
Ask him to forgive you of any sin that will strengthen the enemy against you. Do it from your heart. Jesus is here. Savior is Jesus my Lord a wonderful Savior to me He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock where rivers of Pleasure I see. He hides my soul in the cleft of the rock. The shadows are dry, thirsty land. He hides my life in the depths of his love. me there with his hand and covers me there with his hand a wonderful savior is Jesus my Lord he taketh my burdens away Me there with his hand. 
Amen. Rise up on your feet now. Like a warrior. Few prayers to pray. But with those few prayers, the Lord will do a lot of uncommon things. The first thing to do is to sing these songs after me. It's important that you sing from your heart. Sing from your heart. And make sure nobody leaves you behind in the singing. As you sing these songs, you are calling on the great power of God to come and put arrows of fire in your tongue and to load you with the anointing that has no respect for any enemy trying to fight back. Are you ready now, beloved? There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is victory, there is victory, there is victory in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Power, power, is power. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Power, there is power, there is power. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power, there is power mighty in the blood. Power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the blood. There is There is power, there is power. Oh, yes. In the blood, there is power, mighty. In the blood. In the blood, there is power, mighty. The blood of Jesus, the blood of The blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood of Jesus. 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 There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, when I walk in the precious blood, of, and that is power, that is power, power, power. When I walk in, in, the, in the blood of the land, power, power. When I walk in, the blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. I plead the blood. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I 
of Jesus, I plead in the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Listen, beloved. Immediately we start praying now. The power of God will begin to move from person to person. It will begin to disgrace paralysis, stroke, cancer, confusion, frustration, stress, headaches, migraines, nightmares. It will begin to disgrace every plantation of darkness. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. Say, foundational witchcraft of my father's house. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Something must happen in your life here this morning. There must be a turnaround. I must be a change. Masopoko pola kaponda sanda. Ribolo kaponda kesenta. Mana kaponda kese pola kaya boshenta raba. Possession, 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 possession. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen. If you have any stubborn infirmity in your body, just lay your hands upon the place now while we pray this next prayer. After this next prayer, I will now pray a short prayer. And if that infirmity is a plantation of the witchcraft, it will jump out and go back to the senders. This next prayer is not something you should joke with. Please. If you pray this one, your voice goes away and you got a breakthrough, you have, you have made a good bargain. Say, negative power from my foundation assigned to kill my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? As a sister over there that needs to shout this like no man's business. Because already you've been surrounded by these powers. You have never known peace all your life. This is an opportunity. Can we shout it again loud and clear? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Say a poly contender. Ribo soponde kaya bo shente la ba kaya ba. Ba karibo soponde kaya bo shente ya ba. Now power of God begin to move, 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 move. Every infirmity in the head, in the eyes, in the womb, in any part of the body that the enemy are sitting there, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. Be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Asika poya bo shende rabo kontia. Rea poli contenda. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, I wish you could see what is happening. That's right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on that place. Father, your word says, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Your word says, You have given us a name which is above all names. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Father, any witchcraft sponsored infirmity in anybody's life now, let the power in the blood of Jesus flush them out of that position. In the name of Jesus. 
He flushed out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. Check it very well. Touch that fibro. It has gone back to the spirit husband that put it there. Touch the anea and the goiter. It has melted away. Touch the cancer. It has disappeared. Check the terrible migraine. It has gone. Check the serpent moving from one part of your womb to the other. It has gone back to the senders. Check the unusual high temperature you have been having. Your temperature is now normal. Check. There are plenty of things happening now. Something is blocking somebody's throat. That thing has been cleared away by the fire of God. Someone is saying you have been smelling death, death, death. And you can even smell the rottenness from your inside. The sweet smell of the Holy Spirit has replaced your rottenness now. That person with unexplainable body itches. Look at your body now. You find that the witchcraft marks that are causing the itching has just vanished. There is someone here. A miracle has happened in your life now that will shock your doctors by the time you report to them next week. Plenty of things are happening here. I see hands being cut off and being replaced. The hands of poverty and non-achievement has been cut off. And a new hand has come into position. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will now shout this with boiling anger. I recover tenfold all my wasted years. This is an important prayer. I recover tenfold all my wasted years in the name of Jesus. Recover them tenfold. Recover them. Today is today. Maseka poya bo shende rabo kuntia. Ribo pia li katende kente laba. Mana ribo soponde kaya bo shente yaba. Bakapola bo kapola bo kapola ba. In Jesus name we pray. Silence. Why the recovery is going on? 50 persons here have been delivered from parental witchcraft. That's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's right. Number thirty, number forty, and number fifty. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. So many things have been pulled out from so many lives. Plantation of witchcraft in the head, the one in the eyes, the one in the chest and the heart, the one in the womb, the one in the stomach, the one in the legs. They've been pulled out. They've been pulled out by the power of God. Father, I pray. This person has been dreaming of dead persons. Right there where you are. The arrow of death fired into your heart. Let the arrows go back to the senders now. In the name of Jesus. Receive your complete restoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Listen very carefully. If you've checked your body and you find that the healing power of God has touched you and an infirmity you brought here has vanished, Please, I beg you, don't allow the enemy to put them back on you. Just quickly find a way to the altar here. So we can put a seal on that testimony. That is, when you lay your hands on your body just now, and as we were praying, a particular condition that you had disappeared. Just quickly find a way to this altar now. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. This is a very, very serious time. Somebody came here, the witchcraft powers have captured your menstruation. Please go to the ladies and check now. The menstruation is back. And then find a way to the altar here to tell us. 
Glory be to the name of the Lord. The enemy has fired an arrow inside the bone of somebody. Something is happening inside that bone now. You can actually hear the cracking of the bone as the power of God is straightening it out. Let's try it. Find a way to the frontier. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every witchcraft dog backing against my breakthroughs. Can you say this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus, silence their voices. Their voices must be silenced. In the name of Jesus, Boseka tenda kaya bo shende raboko, da kala boko sopola kaya bo shende raboko nta. De si ponde ketia, bo sete kaya bo shenta, bariko soponde kaya bo shenta. In Jesus' name we pray. There are 12 persons here. I have a message to you from the Lord. As a result of the prayer you pray just now, before this month runs to an end, you shall have uncommon promotion, uncommon testimonies. All the problems that have been making you to cry in an uncommon, miraculous way, they have been converted to testimonies now. I a woman here. Somebody with terrible witchcraft powers are threatened you. And this person is working really hard to eliminate you within the next seven days. If this person does not leave you alone, the person shall die. Yeah. Look, look at something that's happening there. The enemy has put a balloon in somebody's tummy. The tummy is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And the balloon of the enemy has been taken out. Find a way to this altar here. That's the power of God. That's, that's his power. That's his power. Don't be afraid. Stretch that bad leg. That started to function now. Reappear. Reappear. Now, this is a time to pray this prayer. Every assembly of witchcraft working against me scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the assembly by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter the assembly, scatter the assembly. Masikaya bo shente rabo kote raba sanda. Maribo soponde kaya bo shente rabo. Barria kapola kaya bo shente raba. Opu ya mouth, opu ya mouth. The assembly must scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer I want you to pray. Merely we will set our mouth on it. New organs will come into the body where bad ones are presently in. And organs of the body turn upside down, we assume their right position. And those who are here and doors, good doors have closed against you. Those good doors will begin to open us from today. Say so every dream. Sponsored by witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the dreams. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Daria Bosanda Nakapola Bosopola Kaya Boshenterabo Jesus Jesus In Jesus name we pray 
There are three sisters in this meeting. You have one thing in common. You lost your husband a while ago. These husbands were occultic people. They buried your virtues before they died. But right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil barrier has been destroyed. Aha. And the wealth stolen from you has now been restored tenfold. The enemy has taken away the scrotum of one man. Brother, check it now. That scrotum is back into position. Things are happening here. Yes. That witchcraft fine. The fire of God is burning your backbone. And you are being released from that yoke. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this with only anger. Every power troubling my star. This is an important prayer, beloved. Many stars have been troubled, and many stars are killed untimely. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Make it louder than that. Make it even louder than that. Damn! In the name of Jesus, that is the miracle power of God. It's flowing from person to person, from person to person. Baka posse pela kaya boshende kantia. Ribo soponde katende kaya. Mana kaponde setele koyaba. Riaboko pishatinda raba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Something that just happened to somebody. It is important that you come out and talk to somebody here so that the enemy will not put his problem back. Don't be shy. You know yourself, something powerful has happened to you now, right now. Find a way out and quickly talk to somebody. If you can't find somebody by yourself, come and talk to one of the ushers. Tell the usher what has happened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now declare this loud and clear. Say, November. December. 2006. Can you say that loud and clear? You shall not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that those men shall not be your cauldron. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear. To the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Listen to me carefully. Please ensure you don't leave this meeting until I've prayed the ceiling prayer. Because the enemy is still planning to waste so many people this year. But as far as you are under the cover of that ceiling prayer, together with the warfare prayers you have prayed today, any power that wants to kill you shall kill itself. Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for these wonderful miracles and testimonies. I decree that they should be permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, I want you to pray one powerful prayer. Say every involvement of witchcraft in my finances. Scatter now! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray raise up your two hands to the heavens as you pray these prayers on your hands as you pray these prayers on your hands raise it up to the heavens anointing to prosper in an uncommon way fall upon my hands in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare that one loud and clear in Jesus name we pray let your amen be dynamic as I pray now father I pray for all who are gathered here today at any seed of witchcraft planted in the life of any child planted in any home planted in any business planted in anybody's organs your word says any tree that the father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire every seed of witchcraft planted in our lives be uprooted now by fire be uprooted by fire be uprooted by fire be uprooted by fire I decree that the confidence of the enemy, the confidence of the enemy upon any life here, let that confidence be broken in the name of Jesus. You, the serpent and scorpion of affliction, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let's lay one hand on our head now and one hand on our belly button as I pray these ceiling prayers. Father, I commit your children here unto your holy hand. It is written that they to the hills will raise up their heads. But from there comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved. For if they keep it, they will not slumber. If they keep it, Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague come near your camp. As you go, it shall be well with you. Every power that is throbbing our life that we have asked to die today, they shall never resurrect. Affliction will not rise again. Right there where you are, I speak unto you by the spirit of prophecy that danger will not come close to you. And tragedy shall not be your lot. Every power contesting for your testimony, those powers shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, any attempt by the enemy to embarrass you shall result in disgrace of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, good roads that the enemy cannot close, I decree that it shall open to you now. In the name of Jesus, and any power that wants to attack anyone as a result of the prayers here this morning, let those powers be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I have a word for some people here. You thought it is too late. God said no. That before this month runs to an end, you shall have the testimony. I have a word for somebody too. You have been saying, let God allow them to mention my case here today. The power of God has met you at the point of your needs. And if you are that person who have been fasting for the past three days, you, you fasted right into this palm of change hands, I have a word for you too. That the purpose of that fasting shall become testimonies. <laughs> Father, we thank you. Move your children from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. Any other danger left in this year shall not be the lot of your children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Shout hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. All dry bones you must be revived. All dry bones you must be revived. For the Lord said to you, all dry bones, dry bones, you must be revived. In the name of Jesus. All In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All you 
must be revived in the name of Jesus. All tribe Muslim must be revived in the name of Jesus. All tribe Muslim must be revived from the Lord. Yes. All tribe Muslims, tribe Muslims, you must be revived in the name of Jesus. All tribe Muslim must be revived in the name of Jesus. All tribe Muslim must be revived. To the dry bones that they may receive life. What is a dry bone? A dry bone is a person who is living but dead. Who is dry bone? Dry bone is somebody who is supposed to be a millionaire but cannot afford 1,000. Who is dry bone? Dry bone is somebody whose bl the blessings just pass over the person. The miracles fly past their head. Who is a dry bone? A dry bone is somebody who is a lightweight in the spiritual realm. The enemy just does what he wants with your life, anyhow. Who's a dry bone? Dry bone is someone who has been relegated to the dustbin of life. This is why it is only this prayer that is left now. And you should pray it with reckless abandon, with merciless violence. Pray it because of the massive presence of the angels of God here now, who are ready to do anything. I say anything. For the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. Can you shout this loud and clear? Dry bone of my life, come alive in the name of Jesus. Jesus, name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. 
<laughs> the way you are praying that prayer, that's why I stopped you. I stopped you because the angels were passing many by. Some are even sleeping. I feel sorry for you. Close your eyes. Tribe of my Lord. Come along. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Papa the Kasata. Rima Sapanda Kayaboshanda. Continue, continue. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move, 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 move. Masopande kaya boshente abo santa. The kapali boko santa. Dry bones of my life. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Masopande kaya boshente abo santa. The captain Diabo Shanter Abo Sampila Kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Stranger! Your voice is not loud enough. In my body. Jesus. Enough is enough. Lose your hood. 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 Lose your hold. Jesus name we pray now this very very important prayer if you pray it and you lose your voice as far as you get your breakthrough it's okay powers calling my name in darkness you are a liar Duh! in the name of Jesus Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to make this declaration several hot times. Seven hot times. Say, oppression shall be far from me. Are you ready now? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. In the name of Jesus. Now, begin to speak the words of deliverance and fire into your family life. That the fire of God, you go there and deliver the family. Amen. All 
eyes closed. As you pray this next prayer, listen to me carefully. If you had ever had cause to go and throw your clothes into the river during your period of ignorance, pray this next prayer on your knees. Shout this loud and clear. This is a command and a declaration. Cage of the waters. I am not your candidate. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree to. Break the cage of the waters. Break the Jesus name we pray now we go to one of the most serious prayers we have to pray here please there is no room to negotiate I want you to be more aggressive with these prayers say powers from my place of birth troubling my Israel can I hear you shouting the same thing Is that how you are going to say it? Say it louder than that. Can you say it louder than that? In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. That's right. Yes, yes, something is happening here, that's right, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go, enough is enough. Powers from my place of my troubling my Israel. Your time is up.
Amen. Raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this as loudly as you want it to happen in your life. These are dangerous periods to keep quiet. This year, every gang up against my destiny shall scatter in the name of Jesus. This year, my God shall arise. This year, my God shall arise and make me a mysterious wonder. This year, any evil voice speaking against my life shall be silenced in the name of Jesus. This year, what others call a problem shall become promotion for me in the name of Jesus. Now with a voice as loud as fire, say this year any power that is against my existence shall die in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen. Raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this as loudly as you want it to happen in your life. These are dangerous periods to keep quiet. This year, every gang up against my destiny shall scatter in the name of Jesus. This year, my God shall arise this year, my God shall arise and make me a mysterious wonder. This year, any evil voice speaking against my life shall be silenced in the name of Jesus. This year, what others call a problem shall become promotion for me in the name of Jesus. Now with a voice as loud as fire, say this year any power that is against my existence shall die in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold man. Ladders of darkness, I am not your candidate. Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Ladders of darkness in my life break in the name of Jesus. Amen. Poison of darkness in my body. Let your voice roar like thunder. That voice is not loud enough. Come out now in the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray shout this with boiling anger strong man of my father's heart death in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Stop and pursue of my father's heart. Death. In the name of Jesus. Ma potari de kose tende yaba. Open your mouth and declare it. That's why Jesus brought you here. We are here for serious business. Power of God. Move, move, move. Ma sikate la kaya bo shende raba santa. Jesus name we pray this next prayer as you shout your seven loud amens you also clap thunderously seven times that noise you are making with your hand shall strike a terrible noise to the camp of the enemy and they shall flee unto desolation father I pray every rottenness that has got that into any life rottenness that has gathered into any life. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree one more time. And every rottenness gathered into anyone's life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. I told you. Yes. I want you to clap that and louder. In this next prayer, the Lord will also use it to send a noise that will scatter your enemies onto desolation. Every handwriting of man upon any life here, which is contrary to the handwriting of God, clear away in the name of Jesus. One more prayer. Why you say clap sevenfold? Father, I pray that every scale of darkness in any eye preventing you from focusing and locating your destiny. Let that scale scatter in the name of Jesus. Now you will now pray this prayer. Every evil company, permit me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. Jesus name we pray 
say every foundational covenant speaking bondage into my life can you say that loud and clear is that the loudest you can say it scatter in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray Jesus name we pray can you shout this again loud and clear covenants of my father's house assigned to bury my destiny die in the name of Jesus die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray I'm praying for anyone here under the covenant conscious or unconscious of untimely death that you should be released now in the name of Jesus the seven fold man can you say this loud and clear Every poison over my life die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and break the power of the poison. Every poison over my life. Masikatania Nikaya Busha. In Jesus' name we pray. Anyone that has stolen glory from me, return them by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Makateli Kayaboshana, in Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Red Sea, lose your power in the name of Jesus. Command your Red Sea to lose its power. Lose your power in Jesus' name. We pray. Blemish in my life. Die. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the blemish. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Of wilderness assigned against my destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. The power of wilderness, scatter, 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 scatter. Jesus name we pray stretch your two hands towards this altar father this hands that are stretched forward here by your grace and by your mercy and by your power and glory place a divine gift upon every hand stretched forward here in the name of Jesus I decree upon your life whether it is convenient for the enemy or not that your destiny shall shoot you out your destiny shall shoot you out 
your destiny shall catapult you in the name of Jesus every ancient gate in your life I command them to be lifted away in the name of Jesus receive the grace and power with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder can you shout this loud and clear embargo of my father's heart let me go in the name of Jesus Somebody ought to say that loud. That power of God. Move. 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 Da katende rabo soponde ke yabo shente raba. Aha, aha. Somebody have that sister over there. Ma katende yabo shente raba santa. Ma katende ribo sopeli katende ka. Aha. Check it out, check it out. Papia, lift Harry up, that's it. That's the power of God coming upon you. Ma sita li kaya bo shete la bo sete la kaya ba. Ma kaya bo shente la bo sete la ba. Yes, you know, you know. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? My stolen blessing! Where are you? Look at me now! In the name of Jesus! Somebody is possessing it. Somebody is possessing it. Aha! Ma pote satanika da ribala kotende ke yabo shenteraba. Jesus, them we pray. That's good. That is good. The testimony shall be great. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your fire and your power enter into these hands now. Let your fire and your anointing enter into these hands now. Lay that hand on your head and keep it there. And keep quiet, please. Place it on that head. Keep quiet, please. Please. Father, anyone here? And the air was removed to the coven. Right there where you are. Receive your deliverance. Don't say anything. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Uh Aha. Every power manipulating your glory, especially those powers that are telling you you will never marry, that are telling you you will never have children, that are telling you you will never prosper. Fire is coming upon your head to burn away the plantation of the enemy. That's the fire! That's the fire! You can't hide. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Stretch your two hands forward. 
and don't say anything. Just search for it. Father, I stand there as your servant. All the blessings stolen from anyone here right from your mother's womb. My God, that said, tell you her. I said, right from your mother's womb. Recover them. Recover them. Let it be placed back into your hands. 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 It's happening. It's happening. Into your hands. Into your hands. Aha. Your blessings inside the waters in your place of birth. Your blessings inside the river. Your blessings in foreign lands. Your blessings that the bond woman has stolen. Your blessings stolen from your place of work. Recover it. 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 Yes, it's coming. It's coming. They are placing this on your hands. Amen. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting this morning, and you remember clearly that your parents cast you, they cast you, and you can see the outworking of these curses upon your life, please be on your knees. The first thing is to repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you for upsetting your parents. Confess your sins before the Lord for whatever you did that made them to issue curses upon your life. It's important you do that before we can pray with you. Until they've done that confession, they need to confess and ask the Lord to forgive them for in whichever way they upset their parents. Everybody will shout this prayer loud and clear. This is a prayer vomited by the Holy Ghost to make you possess your possession. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every chain binding my legs break in the name of Jesus. Break the chain by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bukatenda ya boshente rabosente. Bukatenda. It is time to pray these very dangerous prayers. Shout it louder than anyone around you. Satanic vultures. I am not your candidate. Dare! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the vultures of darkness. Deal with the virtues of darkness. Satanic virtues. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpent strong man. 
troubling my family. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with a voice that roars like thunder, pray this prayer. Stubborn, strong man. Is that the loudest you can say it? Stubborn, strong, old. Is that the loudest you can say that one too? Can you shout the two things loud and clear? Release my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Stubborn strong man, stubborn strong old, release my destiny. Makate sate la ya bo shandi la bo kasa. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every power, renewing satanic power against me. Jesus, yes, renew satanic power against me. But Captain Diabo Shanta, in Jesus' name, we pray. Now we boiling anger, reckless anger, and with violence in your voice, pray this prayer. Don't say I prayed it before. It will be a mistake to say so. The enemy that came while I slept. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. Say, my Red Sea. Red sea. Hear the word of the Lord. Divide by fire. In the name of Jesus. Speak unto your Red Sea to divide. My Red Sea, hear the word of the Lord. Divide by fire. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't say I've been praying this prayer before. There is an anointing upon it for this early morning. Pray it again with reckless violence. Powers! Prolonging my problems. You are a liar! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the problem prolonging powers. Makatenda rabo sopola kayabo shente raba. Somebody is breaking through already. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say my breakthroughs. What are you doing in the valley of witchcraft? Can you shout that loud? 
jump out by fire in the name of Jesus command them to jump out thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray can you shout this loud and clear ground open can you shout that with a command swallow up every incantation uttered against me in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to command the ground to swallow the incantations issued against your life issued against your destiny my potter said ten de kayaba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So every evil burial for my sake. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and kill the evil burial. Jesus name we pray every attempt to cover my glory if I were your shoes my voice would be louder than that can you say it loud and clear Die! in the name of Jesus my glory shall not be covered in Jesus name we pray powers of the grave shout it loud on time in that in the name of Jesus. Untie me, untie me. Powers of the grave. Untie me. Be untied, be untied, be untied, be untied. In Jesus' name we pray. Every tongue contrary to my progress. We die in the name of Jesus. Command the tongue to wither. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer is both an attacking prayer and a defensive prayer. And it's important that your voice roars like thunder. Powers! Calling my name in darkness. Can you shout that loud? I bury you now! In the name of Jesus! That's right. Somebody's been set free.
Amen. Get yourself ready now. Why clapping your hands and singing this song loud and clear? The power of God will once again begin to move to break and to destroy yokes and to destroy bondages. Sing it with a loud voice. Sing it while clapping your hands. And as you pronounce it in your mouth and sing it loud, the louder you say it, the faster the power of God will begin to move in your situation. Get yourself ready now. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke. Every yoke must be broken. With a loud voice. This is the final prayer we are praying here today. With a loud voice. Say, yoke of evil company. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Yoke of evil come to break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Holy Ghost! Overshadow my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. Overshadow my life. Makatenda Yaboshanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Power of deliverance. Come upon my tongue. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through with that prayer too. Power of deliverance come upon my tongue. In the name of Jesus. Power of 
In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Ghost Father, baptize my tongue in the name of Jesus. Baptize my tongue in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my tongue carry the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. I drink the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to drink the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My mouth shall not assassinate my destiny. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My father, my father, my father. Arise. Disgrace my Goliath. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father. Arise. Disgrace my Goliath. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, some people here need to pray this next prayer with powerful violence. Anywhere my name is mentioned in darkness. Can you shout this loud? Fire of God scatter them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Anywhere my name is mentioned in darkness, and the fire of the God of Elijah scatter them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I plug my life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and plug your life into the socket of divine favor. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I plug my life into the socket of divine favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Power! Is that the ladders who can shout it? Is that the ladders who can shout it? Shout it. To have recognition in heaven. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly recognition. The power of heavenly recognition. Power. Recognition fall upon me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Power for my equal to fly. Come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask for that power too. 
Fama Igu to fly. Fala Pamina. Masikaya Boshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Against unclean spirits. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Power against unclean spirits. Jesus, then we pray. Power of resurrection fall upon me now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Power to please God. Fall upon me now in the name of Jesus. Power to please God. Fall upon me now. Masete ke tende ke ya boshanda, ribo se pende ke ya boshente raba kasanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Power to destroy my weaknesses. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Power to destroy my weaknesses. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice that has no respect for the devil. Can you shout this loud? Pursue my pursuers. Fall upon me now. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father. Arise. Envelope my life with favor. In the name of Jesus. Call upon your father. My father, my father, my father. Arise. Envelope my life with favor. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray say I fire back every hour of affliction in the name of Jesus open your mouth and fire it back I fire back every hour of affliction in the name of Jesus 
Fire them back. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, opportunity wasters. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Fellow of my father's heart, let me go. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Be released, 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 be released. Mashika sepeli kaya mosheta. Open your mouth and decree it. Continue, continue, continue. Aha! This is not a money of negotiation. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. That's better. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You have been fighting a serious battle. But when you pray this prayer, your enemies shall be disgraced. There is somebody who pray this prayer. And something is about to happen. We should make you dance in your room all night. Somebody praying this prayer, the Lord should tell you that your dry bones shall rise again. So can you shout this loud and clear? Every power that does not want to let me go In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Every power that does not want to let me go. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Be silent where you are. As I sing this song, just concentrate on Jesus as I sing this song. Thank you, Jesus. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. 